Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. It means a lot to me, and I don't remember why it means a lot to me. Let's jump into it. <laughs> um, I remember why it means a lot to me. Hey, what's what's my first file? I never 100% beat this game. Okay. I always figured I had. I remember doing a, probably, I think, all the side quests and missions, because I remember doing the Anju and Cafe stuff, and that was fantastic. It really it, Beating the side quests of this game brings a, this huge layer of charm to this game. Uh, I'm just gonna call him Link, I'm sorry. This really, this scrolls by so fast, I'm not ever expecting it to, to just like zoop across. I never did beat this one, or the first one. Isn't this a game timed? It is timed, and that is another thing that really bothered me whenever I was about to get into this game. I'm like, what? I have a time limit? I hate being on a time limit. This game actually does not feel as bad with the time limit, considering. Especially... I don't know. I should have been reading this stuff, but you guys can read that, I guess. Um, especially considering a lot of the stuff feels more alive as you travel through the passages of time. Uh, certain days have a certain events all the time. It's like a Groundhog's Day of, uh, situation where you keep going through the same days over and over and you get like a certain familiarity and like a closeness with these three days. But um, I really like the fact that it's time because <laughs> I don't know. It just feels... I... I uh... I guess it doesn't feel too harrowing on you when you learn how to slow down time. That's the big deal. But it, it feels like you really are, like, trying to... <laughs> like, the progress that you make, I don't know. The progress that you make feels a lot better in this game than, like, Ocarina of Time, because you get to see how bad things are, and every single time this... the day finishes, like, here, and you hear, like, those chimes, and you feel, like, this impending doom... And you do what you need to do, and you go back, and you do it like everything all over again. You do this over there, and this over there, and you slowly make progress in all these areas. And you're slowly working towards this ultimate goal. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know how to use the words right now. Um, it's really neat. It's really neat, because every single time you redo these three days, you're doing something different. But outside of time, like, you're, like, outside of time. Link outside of time. This is the video game. Uh, where everything really has a lot more weight to it. Like, more than the weight in the first, uh, the, not first game, but the Ocarina of Time. It's just, like, two snapshot pictures. Like, you're in, like, seven years ahead or you're in the present. That's it. <laughs> I don't know how to describe my feelings about this game. This guy. Well, that shouldn't be whatever. I skipped right past this. I... I I'm, like, racking my brain, but I've been, like, brain dead for the past month or something. I am, like, in this huge fog, and I don't have words to mention things. Don't mind my babbling and mumbling. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm gonna have a sip of water in the meantime while we look at his... This pretty ocarina. Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it. Also, this guy's an extreme musician. Yes. Toot. Beep. <laughs> Toot. <laughs> Toot. <laughs> it's amazing. I love this guy. You can't tail. What would we do if we dropped it and broke it? No way. You can't touch it. Oh, I can't wait to get to the creepy stuff. This game starts out creepy out, out of the gate because it gives you the whole... Okay, well, we'll get there when we get there. Ah, uh, but sis... Why can't I try it out too? This guy just laughing, like, of course you're gonna wake up the child behind you. Who is the final boss of this game? Majora. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> we'll see. The final boss is really interesting. I won't be able to get to the final boss today. And... We'll learn a little bit about that mask that Skull Kid is wearing, and maybe that lead into something. I don't know. I don't know if we learn too much about Majora right out of the get-go. Right out the gate. 
Now let's learn how to control this game. I haven't touched a GameCube controller in a while, and I haven't played this. Yeah, I guess it's not a speedrun, maybe not. I don't remember how to play this game. Okay, walking around is as simple as uh, it should be. Good. I, I know how to walk. Good. Excellent. I know how to sword. And I can do the spin. Collect some money. I mean, if I recall, I bet these ones over there are going to be like the type of grass that shuffle away. No. The I swear, uh, early game had one of them. There's like... Sometimes, like, you'll see a whole patch of grass like this, and you start, like, attacking some of them, and, like, the rest of them will start to shuffle away. Oh, maybe it's over here. Let me see. Uh, I love that, because it has meaning. Yeah, it has meaning a little bit later on. You don't know why it's shuffling away. I kind of do. <laughs> well, I mean, some of you guys may remember. I hardly remember anything about this game though. Also, I remember when I first played this, I had like trouble because I didn't realize that this game would like auto jump. So like I, <laughs> I was like so confused about how to get up here. And then like my Link would just jump. I'm like, what the heck is happening? Also must point out that his jumps are so much more acrobatic in this game rather than like the same jump type that he always had in uh, Ocarina of Time. It was the same jump every time. But this game, he does like flips and twirls and stuff. It's awesome. Bullseye on a flower. Nice work. And now we get into Creepy Town. Like, <laughs> child me was like, oh, what's happening? <laughs> but that stupid horse of yours. It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. Because you don't know opponent's song. There's no point in writing a thing like that, so I did you a favor and got rid of it. Hee hee hee. Ah, boo hoo. Why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now. Do you really think... Oh, yeah. Auto-advanced text. I appreciate you. Also, this was my first time ever seeing a Deku scrub because I, uh, in this style. I mean, I've seen Deku in the previous games, but uh, I never saw the Ocarina of Time how their take on Deku scrubs were until this game. Or, I mean, not previous games. I've seen it in later games. I never really played Zelda beyond Zelda 1 and A Link to the Past. And then, yeah, sorry, but you're cursed. Met with a terrible fate, haven't you, this game? At least we skip the initial mask putting on because when we'll get like later masks in different forms, it gets real creepy. But this was already creepy as it is. Like this floating guy just ominously standing there and like this trippy sequence. I'm like, ugh, what the heck is this video game? This isn't Zelda 1 like I'm familiar with. <laughs> really, Zelda 1 and Zelda a Link to the Past were all I was familiar with whenever I was touching this game whenever my nephew had it. And I was like, this is really, really wildly creepy. I did not anticipate this at all <laughs> and then we get bullied <laughs> it's so good is it sis I remember those words whoa whoa skull kid wait for me I'm still here tail you can't leave without me Oh, dejected fairy. You. If I wasn't dealing with- if I wasn't bullying you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother. Well, don't just sit there, Deku boy. Do something. Anyway, um... I really like this fairy a lot because instead of saying, hey, look, listen, it does ding ding ding. And that's not as grating on the ears for some reason. But I, I can imagine that some people still get really bothered by the noise of ding 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 whenever you highlight something or L target something. Oh, I'm gonna have to learn hell targeting again. Gross. Why are you looking at me like that? What? There's something stuck on my face? Will you stop staring and just open that door for me? 
please. Come on, a helpless little girl is asking you, so hurry up. Let's go. So now we play as Deku Link. This is like how it throws you into the game. <laughs> it's just like, okay, that's what we got. He's also get away, but at least like we're so much faster. It kind of Deku Link does feel really nice. Now I broke all of those. Um, I guess it wouldn't do anything right now, white, right yet, because this is just tutorial town, kinda. But there's something that interesting that happens when you break all of the. I think that's what how you activate it. Maybe whenever you break all the grass as they try to shuffle away. Hey, wait for me! Don't leave me behind. So that um, that stuff back there. I um, I apologize. So bullying is nullified now. Please take me with you. You want to know about that school kid who just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to have the idea where he might be going. Take me with you, and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Good, then it's settled. So then, I'll be your partner, at least until we reach that school kid. My name's Tattle, so uh, nice to meet you or whatever. Also, yeah, Tattle is kind of somewhat sassy at the beginning of the game, so Tattle also is kind of great in that respect. <laughs> It's just like, hey, I'm going to bully you. And then I accidentally got left behind because I was too busy bullying this child. And uh, she's just like, uh, whatever, just here's an apology. Just take it. Uh, okay, let's go. <laughs> like, what? Stop. You feel like you're, it feels like you're still bullying me, Tattle, but that's awesome. Now that we got all that straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? So sassy. If I figure something out, press up on the C-stick. Gross, I forgot about the C-stick as well. I really... I'm glad that I haven't touched the GameCube controller in a while. It's a weird controller. I don't hate it, but it's weird. Hopefully, you'll manage to get by without my help until then. <laughs> so good. I love it. So another thing we have, now that we're Deku fella, we can go in these awesome little flowers and float away. We got flowers. Oh. This game is really charming and cute, even though it puts on a facade of creepiness. And it really is creepy. It's so weird how cute and creepy this game is at the same time. <laughs> I love it. And I, I'm really glad that they kind of home in on this creepy aspect because I feel like a lot of N64 games have a creepy aspect to me anyway just because of the weird amount of polygons that are active. Like, there's so many pointy edges and stuff. Like, things don't feel soft and friendly at all. God, Deku Nut. They're, they stun enemies. I don't know why I'd ever use them uh, unless there's like a puzzle that requires them. Okay, there's no way I can skip that way. Uh oh, please, please, please. Good. And this was also scary for me too, because like <laughs> these flowers only carry you like basically the proper distance with a, a decent amount of leeway. So you're not like ever like really in any danger, but I was like, I'm going to fall to my death. Help, this is spooky, and it's so dark and dreary down here. Teach you how to L target. What is the title? There you go, see? You can do it, if you try. When I fly over to people or objects, use the L to look at them, so you can talk to them. Use L targeting to talk to people even if they're far away. Or if there's no one to target, you can use L to look straight ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check out that tree. We'll get there. It's strange, but the way you look right now sort of looks like this tree. If you look, it looks dark and gloomy, almost like it could start crying any second now. How sad! And then if you like look at this fella, it really is a gross-looking face tree as well. It's just like, Ugh, I don't like this. I don't like how this starts out. I got through this beginning part as a kid, though. Another little trippy sequence because this game starts out really trippy but what really bothered me <laughs> was the time aspect that I didn't know anything about I just like yo this time is counting down and wait till you see the way it counts down whenever it passes on to a new day uh, it'll pass on to night it'll give you the ding-dongs of the bells saying hey uh, a new half of the day is starting but whenever the new day starts it's really really cool. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? 
this guy also creepy. <laughs> I would hide as well, Tattle. <laughs> I own the ma Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. Hmm. Imp in the woods, you say, huh? So here I am at a loss. And now you I found you. Now don't think me rude, but I have been following you. For I know of a very or of a way, <laughs> I can't read, to return you to your former self. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you also get me back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What? Is it not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should be it should be by no means a difficult task. Except the one thing is, I'm on a I'm a very busy fellow, and I must leave this place in three days. How gr so that's the thing. It's it stresses out three days. Whenever I was playing this as a kid, three days. Okay, gotcha. I, and it, like the time was going down, and like it was making a big stink about that. But when you realize what actually happens at the end of the three days, completely not related to this guy, you're like, what? <laughs> I didn't find the precious item that was stolen from me as a kid whenever I was first playing this game because I was not good at following directions, and this was like first time playing a 3D Zelda game, so I was like kind of confused. I'd seen, like, again, I've seen, like, other games, a uh, little bit of them, but, like, I never <laughs> played a 3D Zelda game of this capacity on my own terms, and I'm like, what the heck is this? What is this? How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here is up. <laughs> but yes, you'll be fine. I see you are strong and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find your right way. Right away. Buh, buh, buh. Right then, I'm counting on you. And these doors push open. That that's actually really nice. South Clock Town. Here we are. Here's the start of the video game. And so again, imagine me like struggling through this town. You can't, I'll show you soon, you can't really leave this town, but I didn't know what the heck I was doing, so I'm just like kind of bumbling around and like the days like going by and it feels very urgent. He gives me the creeps, that mask salesman was the... Sorry, just thinking aloud. But three days? Even if, it, if we never sleep, that still just leaves us with a measly 72 hours. Let's talk about demanding. Okay. I, I mean, it's not that demanding when... Once we learn a song. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to see the Grave Fairy. Look, if you want to find a skull, you want to find a skull kid, don't you? The Grave Fairy will know what he's up to. She watches over everything. And just between you and me, the Skull Kid is no match for the Grave Fairy. Go to the shrine near the North Gate. Yeah, these are words that meant nothing to me when I first played this game. You'll find the Grave Fairy there. Um, so what was I about to mention? Oh, dog attacks you. It's amazing. You get bullied immediately. Like. That's the best thing about this game, is that you, you're you forced upon, like, this form. It feels good. You go fast, and you spin, and you're like, wow, this is fun. But then you get bullied by everyone. So I think this is North Gate. Um, so there's, like, maybe, like, four, five parts to this town. There's, like, the central part, uh, which can lead south out to this way, which I'm going to talk to this person really fast. This person does not want me out. Stop right there, Deku Scrub. Do you intend to return to the swamp alone? It's dangerous outside of the town walls, so you cannot allow a child like you to leave unaccompanied. You're not allowed to pass through here without an adult until you are old enough to carry a weapon. And I'm like playing Link without a sword right now, and as Deku, you're not going to be able to hold a sword, so like you're stuck, you're trapped in here. <laughs> it should be easy to find your way around and get what you need to. Uh in order to finish this day correctly. But I was a dumb child that was probably like eight years old and I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't listen to nobody. So when I was told to get a precious item, I'm like, I'm just gonna explore. <laughs> anyway, uh, I can't 
can't wait for me to waste more time because I really want time to happen. As you can see down there in the bottom, it says first day, and we're at 8 o'clock right now. Time goes by fairly fast. And you're forced to go through this whole first three days fairly fast because you won't be able to slow down time until after the first day. He's kind of shuffled away too. I won't be able to do it all, dang it. What's this? Green clothes? White fairy? Sir, could you be, by chance, be a forest fairy? Oh my! My name is Tingle. I think I am the same as you, sir, a forest fairy. Alas, though I'm already age 35, no fairy has come to me yet. My father says that... My father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? I tell you, Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. Now, while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I sell maps to help out my father. Lucky, lucky, you're so lucky to have a fairy! I know, I know. We should be friends. Yes, yes, in exchange, I will sell you a map for it cheap as a sign of my friendship. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? I don't think I can right now. Oh, I mean, I totally can. Tingle, Tingle, Kulu Limpa. No, I'm not trying to talk to you anymore. Stop, stop, shut up, shut up. Speaking of creepy, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. I actually really want to play some of the Tingle games, though. I know that there's a uh, Tingle stars in his own couple adventures. Uh, I think on like some handheld systems. I think one of them was, might have been the DS or something. I don't really remember. But I really want to play some of those games. Oh no, the Great Fairy! Young one, please hear my plea. I have been broken and shattered to pieces by the Masked Skull Kid. Please find the one stray fairy lost in town and bring her to this fairy fountain. Oh, and also speaking about Creepy as well, not just Tingle, but whenever we fix this lady, which is the reason why I never... Um beat this first three days is because I never fixed this lady. I found uh, the stray fairy. But uh, actually, I wonder if it is where I think it is. There's a certain part of town that I really like because you get a mask there. Uh, you get to see Cafe walk around that way and like... The f oh, wait, wait. Hang on, this guy. Um, Cafe means a lot to me uh, now that I've done that side quest because there's again like you you start to love everyone in this town this town becomes more and more alive as you play the game and to learn more about the plights of everyone and how to start fixing that because this game is pretty tragic uh, <laughs> until this guy link over here fixes everything on whatever day you finally manage to do it but you just think about it like everyone like it's just waiting for this impending doom We'll see more about that soon. Private property. I don't have the deed for it yet. There's a whole, like, fetch quest about that or something. I forget. Yeah, over here. I needed to get this fairy, and I struggled because I was like, okay, let me just go swim and get her. And then, uh, like... I missed. I didn't go, like, straight away over there. I think I jumped off of, like, this bridge over here and I like missed her and I was like uh what is happening this isn't swimming this isn't swimming and I struggled and then the day turned <laughs> and, um, and then the fairy is not there at night at night the fairy goes to a different area <laughs> yeah and then you have to reset time and everyone goes back to having problems again <laughs> it kind of sucks oh hey apprentice don't stand around looking at the sky all day but I think you only need that one little broken piece of fairy. Later on, dungeons will also have you collect fairies, and uh, you need to collect a lot more than just one in order to fix the great fairy. But uh, I never really wanted to fix the great fairy, but I had to because you get really good stuff the more you unlock fairies. Yeah, that's, I'm excited to find the kids. That was friggin' top notch. That was fun. Yeah, uh, 
great fairy. I think this is exactly, I mean, again, this game uses a lot of the same assets from Ocarina of Time, but the great fairy has seen better days back in the earlier games. Great fairy, you never thought, like, they would look this scary, but they, they look this scary, apparently. Gross. <laughs> Altered Shave, hey, thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the Great Fairy of Magic, and I, I thought that masked child was helping me. I, and I grew too careless. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. So I can never actually... I saw the kids all around town, and I knew that they were part of these bomber kids. When you talk to them, they're like, yo, we're part of this pretty cool club gang. Westside represent. And I was like, what? But until you get to this point, you can't do anything to help impress them so that you could start the whole side quest and... Well, oops. <laughs> yeah, speaking of creepy, great fairy, amazing. I can now shoot bubbles! <laughs> oh, bubbles are the best. The man who lives in the observatory outside of the town may know about the Skull Kid's whereabouts, but be careful. You must not underestimate the child. That child's powers, young, kind young one. If you are returned to your former shape, come and see me. I shall give you more help. Good, good. I am never going to see you again. <laughs> I mean, I will, but I really don't want to. So, kid, he's doing his best. He's doing his gosh dang best to pop that balloon over there. What do you want, shrimp? I'm busy practicing with my blowgun. If you can't pop that balloon, then don't mess with Jim. Jim? Okay, is that his name? Grr. He's the guy who wears the red hat, so I guess he does deserve his own unique name. Blowgun does not pop a balloon. However, a bubble. Water. The power of a thin film of water can pop a balloon. Absolutely. Gotcha. How long are you playing for? Probably until like 8.30, so maybe another hour. Are you the one who just popped that balloon up there? Not bad for Deku Scrub. <laughs> we bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside of town. You need the code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think that you're getting at it, at it that easy. I can, can't just tell you what the code is. You'll have to pass my test first. I am ready. All right, line up, guys. If you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? And then he sits down. <laughs> I, I always remember, like, all four of them do the little flip-flop motion, and then the other kid is late to the flip-flop, and then he just sits down. He, it's like, <laughs> just show me the, like, epitome of lazy. I love that kid so much. That last kid is the best. Now, these kids... They run away. <laughs> Come get me. They run away. It's pretty great. I love these kids so, so gosh dang much. Just got home. Gonna fall asleep to my stream? Absolutely. Alright. Kid, are you gonna get out of here? I'm not gonna move at all. I think that this kid will be caught on his own dumb motions. Yes. See? It's amazing. If you corner them like that, they just they just give up because they run into you. <laughs> oh, I love it. Is there any other kid? I, I don't remember if there's another kid in this section. I thought so. Okay. There's also something else that happens in that corner that I'm not... I have a new voice? Oh, no. I feel like my voice is different all the time. I... That, that's something that kind of always intrigues me whenever I like hyper focus on like what my voice is. It's it's a big stress because I'm like, wait, what is my voice? I it I feel like it just changes naturally depending on my mood maybe. I have no idea. This kid, I love this kid. There he go. Drop the chicken, kid. I'm after you. Yeah, these kids are actually really hard to catch if uh, they're in a really open spot like this. Got him. Two left. Um, 
I think they're in the separate parts of town. It was like one kid per part of town, except for that north, or yeah, the north part had two of them. But I think there might be one around here somewhere. There's also a dog that wants to beat me up. I like how that car is just rubbing his engines. He's like, I'm gonna get you, kid. I'm gonna get you. Hey, kid. You wanna get beaten up? I'm gonna beat you up, kid. Hey. Oh! We're switching tonight. One more to go. Ding dong. I love how it just shuts up the music. It, it kind of fades out the music. It doesn't just shut it up, but it shuts up the music through a fade out, and then you hear this ding dong. And it doesn't mean anything to you right now. It's just switching to night, but if it does feel impactful still whenever you hear this. Like, you're like, oh, this is an event. 60 hours remain. You're like, oh, 12 hours just happened? As a kid, you're like, uh, wow, time's happening. Whoa. Mr. Smooth Voice, that's my name. I wish I was not a Deku Scrub, because I love this guy. He gives you a mask that's very important to me. For reasons, uh, of course, and for another reason uh, we'll see later in the game. We probably won't be able to see that today. Spouty whales, non-spouty whales, etc. Hell yeah. I love this freaking spouty whale. That's, that's still one of my favorite emojis ever. <laughs> Always allow the dog to beat you up. It's so good. Where's the other kid at? Did I not check this area thoroughly enough? No, wait, no. I think I know where he's at. I think he's in... Oh, yeah, these people. Here's the dancers. We'll see more about them later on. I like how I'm not, like, actually, like, doing, like, a... I, normally, whenever I stream, I, like, kind of want to at least kind of put a facade of, like, an LP type of go about it. I, right now, I'm just playing this as, like, some stress relief. I really just want to play... There you are, kid! You just jumped down! Thank you! You made this so much easier for me. Except you're still way too fast. Why are you... Why is it that you don't allow children that don't have a weapon through? However, this kid... You don't care about them. Do you have some errand in the canyon? It's dangerous at night. We can't allow a child like you to go out alone until you are old enough to carry a weapon like that bomber kid that has nothing. Then I can't let you go out. What a jerk. Gotcha. <laughs> too fast to be stopped. <laughs> He's flailing too... His arms are his weapon. When he wanders around and flails... Now that's scary. I know you can get to the canyon just fine, little kid. If only you re... Oh, but I was saying, it's like... I, I, I don't know if I'm going to like want to upload this to YouTube. Maybe I will. Um, It's just such a nonchalant approach that I'm doing to this game. I don't know if I want to like upload it. Because it's... <laughs> I'm not even like reading half of the things. I, I'm just like... Re calling my past with this game and like being confused about life because I don't really I I really don't remember this game but I remember a lot of pieces but I don't remember it as a whole it's it's a very good game though I love it if only you were human why do you say that kid you're like it's like you're taunting me it's like you're giving me psychological damage <laughs> because if, I mean I know you don't know my situation but like it's like it's like I feel like I'm still getting bullied. This is the beginning of this game. You get bullied. Then I could give you an original Bomber's Notebook. Oh, okay, so it's just saying, come back when you're human. <laughs> what do you guys think? Like, what is that motion? I love it, but I, what is that? Are they like the slam dunk kids? They're like playing some basketball? No way, no scrubs. I guess not. Once we let some kid who wants is a human wasn't human join our gang, and boy, did we ever regret it. Sorry. I guess they're probably talking about that imp in the forest that stole a certain precious thing from a couple people. Teach me the code, baby. I'm ready. Thirty-one, five, forty-two. Wait a second. Yes, he is here! Okay, hello! This guy. I'm not doing anything suspicious, really. 
He's not doing anything suspicious, really. Don't worry about him. <laughs> That's an event and a half. Pretty sure that's it? Yeah, baby. I did not really pay attention to that code. I just let my subconscious take over. I wonder. I want to go this way, but this might be more than three hours. I'm going to maybe want to stay here for a little bit. Or like, let me explore until near. I think it's like at midnight. I'm going to wait because I don't want to miss it in case if it's like 10 o'clock. Please go hurry, hurry, hurry. Just watching a bunch of kids in the park at night while hiding. Yeah, he's... Is he still here? Is he still here? He is still here. Whew. Nothing suspicious. I love watching the kids try to pop a balloon. Don't worry about me. I just want to watch these kids extra closely. From behind this slide. Don't worry. It's all normal. Can I climb up the slide yet? Yeah, I, I knew it was slippery. Dang it, I kind of remember that. Yeah. I don't know if I can make this jump uh, as a Deku Scrub. Yeah, I don't think Deku Scrub can really jump. I don't know. Okay, this flower. This flower can lead me over here, but I don't know if... Or maybe it can? No, it totally can. Playground down that hole. I'll do that some other time. Oh! Lady! Okay, so this lady freaking gets robbed. It happens at midnight. That's just when this thing happens. I can't hurt him, I guess. Okay, I, I probably need a sword in order to get this done. Yeah, so we just watched the robbery. That's all right. Oh my, and I thought we would finally be able to get our stock of bomb bags in our store. What a shame. So yeah, looks like I'm not getting a bomb bag today. I don't think I could have flown with the, the flower over there to reach all the way over here, but I was really wanting to try that. But now that event has happened that I wanted to see, let's move on with the video game. Because we're on a time limit. Not that time limit is really pressing right now. We're still on day one. And I kind of know what I'm doing, so it's alright. This is awesome! Like, okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe I just love this because I love dungeons and this feels very dungeony and I'm like yo this is spooky as all get out thank you show me these brick wall patterns and where the heck am I this is just a kid hideout the kids hang out over here what the heck are they doing the kids are just role playing their favorite daggerfall scenarios that's all Oh yeah, I, I love I love the whole <laughs> look of old video game dungeons with like really repeating tiles and you're just like it, you get lost in it because everything looks the same. It's just a bunch of bricks. <laughs> a bunch of bricks that repeat over and over and over again and I love it. It's like extremely my aesthetic. I love it. <laughs> you, I need to be friends with you at some point. I don't think I can do anything with you right now. Yo, hey baby. I'm a style and scarecrow wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. So this guy is important. Um, we're not going to dance till dawn yet. He's upset. <laughs> but we need this guy so that we don't have to worry too much about waiting. And he told me if you play the song backwards in a certain effect will happen. A certain song backwards. We don't know what song it is that he's talking about, but a certain song backwards, a certain effect will happen. If we play a certain song using two consecutive notes per each note of that song, we double it, uh, basically. Then something else will happen. I'm, I like how so many of these camera angles put me behind stuff. I'm just a tiny Deku scrub. I can't be seen. I'm 
just in the corner. This guy's just talking to like a, a obelisk pedestal. What, what do you have on here? Well, we'll see what he has on here, I guess. Well, well, a strange looking child has joined me today. Are you a new friend of the Bombers gang? Hmm. Your manners seem much better than those of the mischievous friend. Of your mischievous friend from the other day. <laughs> that ill-mannered troublemaker from the other day said he'd break the... He'd break my instruments. He said he'd steal the moon's tear. There was no stopping him. Even now, just watch him. He's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. And then you get to look at the telescope, and this is awesome. We get to look around ourselves, and you're just like, oh... This is the field. We haven't been able to get outside yet, so this is what outside looks like. This, we're in Termina right now, so this is Termina Field. You get to see mountains over that way. There's a bird. That bird just kind of goes around. Oh! Oh! Wait a second, I'm not going to look through. Give me a second. Shut up, shut up. Yes! This felt unbelievably impactful the first time this happened i'm like what's happening and i'm still playing the game it's not like there's a cutscene or anything but it just like slowly zooms out and it's like dawn of the second day you're like holy crap what the frick i love that oh <laughs> just jumped down for a second time okay well, let's actually look for the fella he said to look at Clock Tower, which is, of course, in Clock Town. There he is. You zoom in. He looks up the sky. And we get to see that crazy moon, and it cried. It cried right next to us. And then we get bullied again. And he shakes his butt and hops on out of there. Very good. Well, did you find that troublemaker? And that loud noise, what was that? Perhaps another moon's tear has fallen nearby. Go through that door and take a look outside. But I wonder how that troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. The only way up there is through the clock tower door. And that opens only at the eve of the carnival. So again, like there's a lot of time sensitive things that you need to keep track of time in this game. More so than just knowing if you need to be in the future or the present in the Ocarina of Time. Everything is very organic feeling. That's probably the word I've been looking for all this time. It just feels very organic as events happen throughout the flow of time. It, it feels like this game actually created real fleshed out days that other games really don't flesh out to the point uh, of this one. <laughs> And that's why, okay, that's why I recommend people to watch Vark Skeletor play through Shenmue. Shenmue also has a really interesting approach uh, of how, making, like, these days feel real. It's really awesome. You got the moon's tear, yeah. That was a beautiful yell you just did there, Deku Scrub Link. I like how you just had to yell because you're jumping. I love you. Oh, no, I know what this moon's tear is for. I get it. I forgot. This is the fetch quest part of it that I was talking about. Mr. Property. Property Deku. I could probably spend time to dance with you once. Dance until night. Let's go. Oh, oops, I said no. Well, I think there's a way to dance with you in, like, the bomb shop, so let's just leave. We're back in dungeon aesthetic. I love this. Uh, sadly, I don't really remember too much of the dungeons. I kind of remember like a little bit here or there about dungeons uh, in this game, but I don't really remember them. It's mostly just like the time aspect of this game that actually was pulled so well off that that's what I mainly remember of this game. And I can't wait to go into a dungeon, which might not be today, sadly. I don't know. I still have about 50 minutes of time to play. And I guess, yeah, the fairy does help you because there's a lot of <laughs> things that happen. Uh, in this first three days that you need to accomplish. But at the same time, it really needs you to accomplish it because that's what really sets up how this game works. 
I don't think I, there's anything I can do over here yet. Oh, not with that type of jumps. Whatever. Let's angle myself and see if I can get over there. It's gonna be for zero benefit of my own. Yeah, no, you can't get over there. But um, there's something over there. Nothing really too exciting, but you had to be a human in order to do that. Okay, so property, property fellows down this way. Also, um, when I was talking about earlier with that gray fairy, and I had to get that one fairy. And how at nighttime, if you were not, if you were a dumb child with also the coincidence of showing up at the wrongest time, then because uh, I was, I was almost convinced. I was convinced that, that was the precious item that was being talked about from that guy in the clock, not the clock tower, but that dungeon area that I start out in. I guess that is from the clock tower, but it's like leading down underneath the clock tower. So underneath the clock tower, happy fast salesman is like, give me that precious item. I see this floating thing. I shoot for it, I miss, I fall into the water, the day turns to night. This is flowers here, mostly because there's that fairy that comes right around here somewhere. I don't exactly remember where, but somewhere around here um, during the nighttime. I need to stream a lot more. I feel the same, but I haven't had nearly as much time as I would like. Today just happened to work out, I guess. Dang it. <laughs> I wonder if I could get on top of there. It feels like I can, but I won't. But yeah, it bothered me. Oh, look, it's you! How are you doing, Anju? Can I talk to you, please? No? But yeah, this is the person that works at the front desk of the inn, right? And, uh... She's just going about her day. She's just walking around. How freaking wild is that? She has her things to do. She's not just, like, a mere NPC. She's going... Where is she going? She's going somewhere! How neato! I want to see what she has to say when she comes over here, because I don't exactly remember. Oh, you took your sweet time coming down this hallway. Oh, wow, thanks for the 500 bits. Thank you. I appreciate that a whole lot. And uh, another 10 bits. Hey, thanks. Okay, talk. How do I talk to you? Speak. There we go. Hello, Mr. Scrub. How's about... How about this rain? Do you scrubs feel sad on rainy days, too? She has a reason why she's sad. She has a reason why she's sad. Just keep that in mind. But Deku scrubs are supposed to like rain. At least... One of us has a reason to be happy. No, I don't. You don't know my pain, and I don't know your pain. That's super neat. That is super neat. I love it. If this world feels freaking real. It feels real. Because <laughs> everyone has their own struggles. and Unless if you, like, really do the digging, which in this game, you are going to be doing the digging, <laughs> sadly. um, You're never going to know... Everyone's own personal struggles, and that's pretty neat that, uh... It has a little bit of foreshadowing. She's like, you know... Talking about how sad she is, and... She's part of the best side quests of this game. And she's like, well, at least you have a reason to be happy. I'm not supposed to be a plant thing! Stop! I'm not happy! And so it's just like... <laughs> I don't know, it's super... I love the interactions with everyone in this game, it's just super nice. I've already sold out my wares, and the carnival hasn't even begun. I'm thinking of closing up shop so I can buy a gift for my wife and return to her in my village. I've heard that a stone called the Moon's Tear shines brighter than any other in the land. If you've got one, I'd really like to get it for, from you. My wife would love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you my spa here, Deku Flower included. I don't have it, sorry. Menu, uh, I don't think I ever really liked this menu, uh, <laughs> in this game. I, I, I grew up on Ape Escape, and the menuing was much better in Ape Escape 1 than in this game. But it's neat, it's interesting, it's kind of cool in menuing, but it's just something. 
When does the countdown start? Oh. The countdown's always going. The countdown is always real. Um, the real intense part of the countdown always happens at the end of each day. Or at the end of each night in particular. The end of each night is when the countdown feels like crazy. The transition to the new day is always stressful. And then the final day, the last like 12, 6 or 12 hours of the final day is when you really start to have an incredible countdown. We'll see that sometime soon. Uh, well, and it, it, like the music is not happy or cheery no matter what. It's freaking stressful as all get out. If you have a moon's tear, I must get it from you. My wife would love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you the spot, decoy flower, and everything. Oh, that stone! That must you must hand that over to me. In exchange, I'll give you my spot here. Deku flower included, yeah? You got property. You really helped me out. Now I have to... Perfect souvenir for my wife. She hasn't set eyes on a jewel of this strange, sparkling stone like this in a very long time. The title deed for this spot should be in high demand among Deku scrubs. And that's also foreshadowing, because again, they... this little fetch quest seems like small right now, but later on we'll have to do more with this deed. Um to allow us to access further spots in other parts of the world. But you already know that. If you don't need it anymore, you could always sell it. There's just so much to do in this game, and it's all contained inside three days. And there's just not enough time in those three days to get everything done, even when you find a way to slow down time. And you have to go through time so many times, it's Real neat, I don't know. So, now... I get access to this upper door at this point. Normally I wouldn't be able to reach this. However, again, we heard that this door doesn't open until... the final day. The door to the clock tower opens only once a year, at midnight, on the eve of the carnival. So basically, it wants you to wait till those last six hours of the day, or the final day. Which right now, I guess I just do whatever I need to do. Let's follow Anju again. Uh, let's look. Let's explore the town. This is such a lovely town. Town shooting gallery. She's going back to this end, the place with that bell up there. That's where she's headed. Oh, I have enough money to buy the other map. I might as well do that at some point. Oh, we're gonna get transitioned to nighttime. Oop, uh oh, trying to talk to you. I kinda remember you, but not too much. I'm sorry, our rooms are filled. So Anju is just running right on time. She's gonna get to her shift right at the, uh, right on the hour. Good job, Anju. Oh, what a cute guest. Do you have any reservations? Where, where's your mother? I'm sorry, we're totally booked with reservations. Please tell that to your mother. I don't think anything's gonna be in this bathroom right here, but this game has a bathroom. This game has a toilet right here. And, uh... I, won't, I, I can't. I think that's like final day. Something happens there, which is interesting. There's bugs, <laughs> and I can't wait for that because that <laughs> was something that weirded me out as a kid too. I'm just like, what? Huh? <laughs> oh, you. Hello. Please talk to him. Bah! Bother! Bother! I'm busy. And it's funny because everyone is busy. Everyone does have things to do. It's super neato. I love it. Oops. Get in get in the flower, Link. Let's ring this bell. It doesn't really do anything for me, but I can ring it. Or maybe I can't. Maybe I need a stronger weapon. This also leads into the end, but at the upper floor. 
I wonder if I can talk to Lady. It's 8.30 p.m. and the Stockpot Inn will now be locking the door. Dang it. But yeah, I just got kicked out because this place isn't open and I don't have a reservation. I can't just hang out in there. That's, that's also something I really like. <laughs> That's very daggerful of you. I can't go to the building until it's the right hour. Oh, dang it, you missed. Okay. Do no, dog, you killed yourself! He's, he's fine. This funny dog has, like, five frames of animation. <laughs> or maybe, like, seven. <laughs> it's not well animated, and I love you so much. But he looks like he's having the time of his life right now, just swimming through this water. What a dog. What a funny. You have. You have a good time. <laughs> you failed to bully me, and you end up bullying yourself. I guess it's too late to go to the shop near here, so I can't speed up time that way. I'm probably just going to have to go to the bomber hideout. No, oh, maybe I can. Is this the, town the shop I'm looking for? Hello. Yo, hey, baby. It's a style and scare... I'm a style and scarecrow wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. If you like, baby, we can forget the time and dance till dawn. Oh, no, I want to say yes. By the way... I know of a mysterious song that allows you to manipulate the flow of time. You want to learn it? Yes. Oh, yeah, now listen up. If you play this strange song backwards, you can show slow the flow of time. And if you play each note twice in a row, you can move a half half day forward through time. How's that? Pretty interesting, huh, isn't it? But I'm sure like I'd like any song written by you better, baby. If you'd like, you can play one for me. Not that I can right now. Let's just dance. Oh, there's there's familiar music. If you've played Ocarina of Time. <laughs> he just shrugs it off and then Dawn of the Final Day. I guess we missed that. That I, I should have waited for that because I love the zoom in. The imperative like, yo, this has happened. New day. No, I, I don't, don't want to do that anymore. make him upset because I'm not listening to him anymore. So first and foremost, I need to... Also, the, the music for each day changes and on day three it already is kind of stressful. Look at... Oh, dang it. Forget about me. This person is looking up at the sky. They're very threatened about impending doom. Is there a way to... Yeah, look up. This moon does get closer and closer at each passing day and by the time it's nighttime... It's gonna feel real stressful with how close this thing actually gets to you. Also, let me actually get a good, good full look at this guy's face without that dog attacking me. Please, dog, please. You know what? You can bully me once. Rub your engines, dog. Take a dip. <laughs> Clean yourself after a bullying session. Good. Wait, can I make it over here to the top of that? Maybe I can. Oh, I totally can. Okay, I ought to do that first. Oh, and I need to buy a map from Tingle. Okay. Nice, nice job, dog. You missed. Yeah, look at that that face. That's what I really want to get a good vantage point for. No! Oh, I can't get up there. Phew. Let me get this really fast. Ooh, 50. Oh, I'm not trying to pull that out. I'm not trying to... Yeah, I'm not trying to listen to you either. Stop pushing me! Everyone's bullying me! Stop this! Why are you pushing me? Pants! Okay, um... Look at this face. Like, it is... I mean, again, this is kind of like... Partly because of the... Nintendo 64 graphics, but... They really didn't... Need to put a face on that thing. And they didn't need to make it that creepy. It really is creepy. It's... <laughs> especially, again, for a child. So, holy moly. Good job, game. You did it. I wonder if I can make it to the other... It's probably like 20 rupees, silver rupee over here. All the way across. 
No, I'm not gonna be able to make it. All right. Wow, dog is following my shadow. Dog was underneath me the whole time. Dog is out for blood. These like rumblings as the day continues to go on is also stressful. Like everything feels like it's coming down to like doom and death and destruction. It's pretty great. But this this feeling is usually is mostly just the first day. It's still kind of there, but like the rest of the time, you get to enjoy the game. Especially if, as that scarecrow said, he told us how to slow down time if we know how to manipulate time. If we know a song, we know how to manipulate that song in order to manipulate time. <laughs> Okay, Tingle, where are you at? You're up there. I uh, somehow got you. Okay, cool. Uh, sir? Hello, Mr. Fairy. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? Yippee. And then the rest of my money can be stored. Because this game is really weird. You're going... In throughout these three days and you're collecting money and then you put it in a bank but that the money that gets put into this bank carries throughout your time travel shenanigans so like isn't that really really bad like isn't that going to cause like an immense amount of deflation if you just like print out more and more money for this kid who says that he has a lot of money because she puts a special stamp on you that she can read how much money you've earned Hey there, little guy. Won't you deposit some rupees? Nowadays, even if people have money, they don't deposit any. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Extreme crisis. Yeah, people are going to be withdrawing money at this time. That makes sense. So, for a limited time, I'll give you a special gift based on how much you deposit. For example, if you deposit 200 rupees, you'll get an item that holds a lot of rupees. So what will it be? Let's deposit our money. 70 of them. Seriously? That's a lot. A lot, a lot. So, little guy, what's your name? Hmm, Link, is it? Got it. I won't forget your deposits. Let me stamp you with my special ink that somehow transcends time. And time bullcrap. Hey, relax. It doesn't leave any marks. And it's not gonna hurt. And also, now that I'm thinking about it, like, I'm changing forms, too, and, like, the stamp stays I know it doesn't leave a mark but like it's readable no matter like what form I'm in so like <laughs> I can like say hey I'm going to deposit 20 bucks and then like behind the corner I could turn into a human and be like hey uh can you give me my 20 bucks that I just deposited and she's like wait a second why how do you have the same account as that one child what is happening oh yeah I love this music this music's great I think I like the second day music the best but this one is really nice, and it's really off on the third day because it, it, like the instruments are really cheerful, but they made it like really fast. And again, the rumblings and other sound effects that are happening are kind of off-putting, even though it sounds so cheering and cheery and nice. It, I don't know. I like it. I like what they did <laughs> with this music. There. Now I'll know you when I see you. Uh. It doesn't matter what your face looks like. I'll, I'll know you when I see you. Isn't that crazy? And then she waves at me. Anyway. I still need to wait another 12 hours. So I want to see if I can pass time in one of my favorite ways. Because there's someone in this inn that I really like. in here? No. Sneaking into other people's rooms. You're the worst. Now, one of these rooms is actually really important uh, for big old side quests that I always love to talk about. Hmm. This old lady that can read you a story. I don't know if maybe I need to 
No, that's where that leads outside. Okay, uh, I don't remember. Maybe I'm not allowed to do it on this day. Maybe it's in here. Yeah, you! I don't think there's really anything else going on in this room. So hey, can you tell me a story? Oh, hey, what's this book? I forgot about the book. Granny's Diary. We're gonna take a refuge at Romani Ranch tomorrow. I guess it really will fall. Leaving my lifelong home and fling is unbearable, but nothing can be done. I think I'll take several of Gr Gampy's favorite books. I think this is Gampy, and we'll figure out who wrote... We'll figure out who, like, kind of... Romani is, and, like, what is happening going to, like, the... Places... I don't know. We'll, we'll learn more of characters as soon as we get out of this town. We're still on the first day, first three days, and... I don't remember who Tortoise is. I don't think we ever, like, learn who Tortoise is, but this old lady... Scene Island. She's like, hey, oh, Tortoise, are you ready? Can't wait to read you a story. Since we've had a picnic at Romani Ranch. I can't wait to go to Romani Ranch. I like that place a lot. Um, there's a side quest there that is also really, really good. Oh my gosh. I'm just remembering, like, oh, I can't wait till we get there. It's not happening. But I don't think she's going to be reading a story. Dang it. Maybe it's because it's already the final day, but I was hoping she could read me until night. She usually tells you stories that pass the time, but they actually pass the time and give you a little bit of story as well. It'll tell you about, like, the four giants or something. I don't know. That's sad. Oh, no, no, no. Let me just... I, I, don't, I think it's too early. It's not, like, too close to the end of the world that I can go and check the toilet and not have what I'm looking for. But let me turn up uh, the time to night. Our time is about to be night anyway. But I might need to wait till like the last six hours of the night before it actually shows up. Can I go into the, this place? It only opens at night, right? Milk bar. Yeah, no one's behind the counter, it seems. <laughs> It's a, it's a bar, that, and, it, that, and it sells milk. There's something over here that happens, I think. I'm not sure if that's just like the end credits, or if there's uh, something you actually have to do there. But yeah, like, over there, that's not bourbon, that's just milk, trust me. Shh, 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 shh. This is, when it says bar, it means it's got that bar aesthetic, but it doesn't mean it actually has alcohol. This is all milk. Can I actually hop onto the counter? No, I didn't think so, but <laughs> I'm like, hey, I'm on these parcels, that's cool. That's neat. Night of the final day. Twelve hours remain. It's not quite midnight, so nothing quite yet. There's no one attending this counter. Things are not going very well. There's no hand here yet. Uh, spoilers, that's what's happening. I'm waiting for a certain something. Because I think I can help him out since I have... This. <laughs> I think that works. I, I don't exactly recall, but I think that's what I need. Can I go in here? I forget what this place is completely. I've only gone in there like a couple times, to my knowledge. The mayor's residence. Why does everyone have, like, these cows, these cow ornaments everywhere? And why is that cow a candle now? The cow wasn't a candle anywhere else, was it? So... Hello, Mr. Mayor. I tell you, it's hard to figure which way things will go. See, because Muto said he would call my wife, the carnival is on. So... That's something that's been happening. So this moon's falling, everyone's actually really, really worried about it. And, uh, it just so happens that this moon is gonna end up falling on this town at the very moment of, like, this carnival happening. <laughs> as soon as morning happens of the carnival is basically when the moon hits. <laughs> and look at these rumblings. Oh, it's so good. You're, like, out on the final day and you feel it. I don't really remember this room too much. Oh, no, no, I do remember this room. Oh, wait a second. Is there anything to read? No. 
Anyway, uh... <laughs> so, people are having, like, this struggle. Like, the people that were constructing, like, all these towers and stuff outside... They're right now just, like, looking at the moon. Hello, Hippopotamus... Inf Infrenos? How, how are you doing? And you can see, like, their struggle, their internal struggle. They're, like, they, they know it's gonna fall, but at the same time, like... <laughs> this is, like, really important festival celebration that these people traditionally do every year. Let's look at the... Oops. Let's not look at that. I want to look at the moon. It's so close. Look at this thing. Ah. Okay, I'm just waiting for, like, three more hours. Three more hours, please. Probably can't go in here yet. Can I? No, I can't. I can't do anything in here yet. Yeah, every no none of the shops or any things are occupied by now. Everyone's really stressed out and worried. At this point in the game, that's not your goal. Let's let's see if I can see people in town. Or what do you have to say? You have anything to say? Yeah, I remember the code. You don't need to tell me. see this guy I remember what he had to say but I don't know if he actually believes that the thing is falling down he's the manager having he's in charge of like managing the construction of all this all his workers are stressed out about this moon falling but he's just like yo get to work this is this needs to be done hey Dooku kid you waiting for us to finish the bridge from the festival tower to the clock tower entrance up there sorry my apprentice is panicked and ran away this is what we get for the. F this is all we get for the festival tower. It's not quite tall enough, is it? Sheesh. Even if we went to the top of the festival tower, we wouldn't be able to get up to the clock tower entrance. I apologize for all this, but I wish I could scare that moon away. And so that's the reason why we needed to get this property to go right there, so that we can actually get up because you think, hey, maybe I can just go up this way? No. You're too tiny. You're a just baby little Deku scrub. You can't reach up there. There's no way to jump, really. You kind of do a small backflip. That doesn't get you any height. <laughs> wonder if anyone else has anything to say. Oh, wait, no, it's almost midnight. Get ready for inter interesting music happening. Here's the real countdown. And here's the festival. Midnight. It's a new day. Here's Star's Festival. And this crazy barricade of doors open up and just become a staircase. That's it's really wild. That's something. It just looks like a door, but then you realize, no, it's a door beyond a door beyond a door beyond a door. Look at this countdown. Listen to this music. This is something stressful about this. I think I've heard this song like play in a couple of YouTube loops as well, and I'm like, oh my gosh. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. You really, you really nailed the. You're hitting home with the the spooky atmosphere. No, wait, no. I remember what this was in. It was a uh, wasn't a YouTube boot, but it was. It felt kind of like it. Yeah, there's the hand. Um, it was in Team Fabulous 2. Fantastic video. Oh my gosh, that was. <laughs> this was playing at one point. And I'm just like, hey, wait a second. I know that song. Oh my gosh, <laughs> kind of stressful. P -p -p Paper, please. Here, have the landing. Thumbs up. Yay! <laughs> oh, you saved me. And now what do I get for that? I forget what that even does for me. This fell down here. I'll give it to you. Oh, it gives me that. Okay. I might as well do that in this day. Because I know it's not going to give me a mask or anything. Like, it's not going to give me any important items, so I completely forgot. Wait a second. Zelda games are littered with heart pieces and get them everywhere. 
Yeah, wait a second. Well, I'm, I'm just let go. I want to look at this moon again. I can't even like fit it all on screen. That's how close it is. Oh my gosh. And I can't like save so that I can just like show you uh, what it's like to get a game over. I'm not. Sadly, I'm not emulating this, so like I can't do a save state or anything. Don't stop now. Look, you can get up the, there now. Okay. That's, what, that's the plan. Tattle, that was the plan. You don't need to stop me to tell me not to stop. So I never got to this point as a really, really, really little kid. I had the moon fall on me. Um, but whenever I got here growing up and I actually got this game for myself, this collection, I was like, yo, this feels like something. This was like an encounter. We're going to have our first boss fight. Okay. It's nothing like that. Don't worry about it. Sis! Ah, Tail! We've been looking for you two! Hey, Skull Kid! What if you gave that mask you were wearing back now? Hey, come on! Are you listening? That mask being the precious item from the mask salesman. salesman. Uh, and the ocarina being our precious item, so... It wasn't that fairy that I failed to get as a kid. It, it was these two things that the Skull Kid has with him right now. Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurry, the four who are there, bring them here. Smack. Oh, that, that, that felt like something. And this game being on a... I guess there's a rumble pack for the Nintendo 64, wasn't there? But it was a completely different accessory. On uh, this game, this GameCube, whenever he does that slap, your controller actually vibrates. You feel, <laughs> you feel that slap. Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. No! What are you doing to my brother? Skull Kid, do you think you're our friend after that? Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. <laughs> Just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try and stop it. We got five minutes right now until Doom. You shoot the boy who is claiming to be ultra powerful and he accidentally drops his ocarina. So you just grab the ocarina. The plow. Princess Zelda gave you this precious instrument. No, she. Yeah, she did. Wait a second. I was about to say, like, no. <laughs> no, she didn't. It was my friend. And I'm like, no, that's a fairy ocarina. Don't be an idiot. I was just talking about fairy ocarina when I was playing, when I was playing Animal Crossing. Set it to one of those suddenly memories of Princess Zelda. You're already leaving this land of Hyrule, aren't you? After your crazy journey in Ocarina of Time, I'm gonna have to teach you the basic, the basic song that you always knew in that song in that game because you had to use it for so many puzzles. So learn it for a second time, Link, as you go. I'll never forget the days we spent together in Hyrule. I'd leave my heart, yada yada. Take this. Ocarina that I had already given you? Like, did I, did Link give it back after Ocarina of Time? I'm pretty sure he just kept it. <laughs> so not only uh, did she have to re-give him the instrument, but she also had to reteach him the song that was, like, the most important song. Or maybe not the most important song, but it's really, really important for so many puzzles. Okay, now, which... I am playing this on a GameCube controller, so I need to remember which... Uh, I don't use a C-stick. Okay, X is right. A... Z is down, okay. And the song time is freaking fantastic, by the way. It's a... Uh, very good song to have as an important song in your in your uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I 
the goddess of time is protecting you. If you play the song of time, she will aid you. And so here's our main gimmick of this game. Like, it's even more important in this game, I would say. Arguably, the Song of Time is more important in Majora's Mask than Ocarina of Time. Snap out of it! What are you do- what are you doing? Lost in memories. Get yourself together! Getting that old Ocarina back isn't going to help us! Somebody! Anybody! Goddess of Time, help us, please! We need more time! Goddess of Time, we need more time? What are you trying to imply at me, silly fairy? And the instrument you have is not exactly an ocarina right now. When did you get that instrument? Oh, I need to get a better controller than this. This does not press its buttons as well as I would hope. <laughs> Maybe I should use the C stick. Save and return to the dawn of the first day. Save game, hell yeah. And that's the gimmick of this game. <laughs> is that tragedy is co and coming and there's nothing you can do about it. You feel helpless every time. And uh, you have to reset. You have to, you have to reset so many times. And every time you reset, you lose all of your items. Well, not all of your items. You, you keep like main key items. Like any we uh, weapon type of equipable items. And uh, masks and stuff like that, but certain stuff that, like the deed, the property deed, was part of a fetch quest, so I'm gonna have to redo that again, because that was reset. Uh, collectible items that stack, like arrows and bombs, you have to collect those again. Money gets completely lost if you don't store it in the bank. And here we are, back at the first day. This felt like really awesome. I don't know, I, I really, we get to hear the, peaceful version of the most peaceful version version of day one of the clock tower theme again and i don't know the camera work as it's like bringing you back to this first day and like those memories that you had of like everything that happened you're just like whoa, whoa. We're, whoa the impending doom is no longer on our back anymore what just happened everything has Start it over. Like, going back in time and starting over does not feel fun uh, on paper, but it, it actually is pretty neat in this game. I don't know why I like it as much as I do. And again, time limit doesn't feel fun on paper, but it really works in this time because time is actually so essential to how charming this game really is. I, I can't... I can't really explain it, but at least I'm getting a little bit more words than I did at the very start of this. What... what are you anyway? That song you played, that instrument! That instrument! Wait, that's it, your instrument! The mask salesman said if you got back the precious thing that was stolen from you, he could return you to normal. And we're gonna learn another very, very important song to this game. The song that I kind of... analog to the Song of Time in Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time because it's used for a lot of puzzles in this game as opposed to being a whole gameplay shenanigans. Did you completely forget it or what? I didn't. I didn't. You've just been talking to me since the start of the new day. I couldn't really do anything. Okay, so beep bop boop. This is a reverse song of time. Inverted Song of Time is what it's called. And that slows time, so now you have like twice as much time to get everything done. Which is important, because sometimes dungeons can take a long time. I don't, I don't remember which dungeon would really be the one to give you a lot of time. Like, I know uh, everyone hated Water Temple in uh, Ocarina of Time. And I don't remember too much. I remember a little bit, but not too much about the Water Temple in this game. But, um... I'm pretty sure all of the dungeons are able to be tackled without having to slow down time, but you really kind of, on your first playthrough, want to slow down time just so you have that ample time to figure things out, and especially me, I have I have very little memory of uh, a lot of the things of this game. I'm going to need to have time slowed in order to like make sure that I have, I make sure that I get everything done. 
Were you able to recover that precious, your precious item from that imp? Oh, oh, oh! You got it! You got it! You got it! You got it! And then suddenly, piano. Then listen to me. Please play the song that I'm about to perform and remember it well. C-Stick, you're not working well either, C-Stick? Gosh dang it. I've had this GameCube for a long time, so maybe maybe my uh, controller's starting to finally crap out on me. I don't know. <laughs> Would it be weird to buy a GameCube controller for the meaning of playing a GameCube? Most people want to buy a GameCube controller to play Smash. <laughs> And we're back to human, and what's left of our curse is this mask. Uh, this is a melody that heals evil magic tr and troubled spirit, turning them into masks. And this guy is loaded in masks, so it, if you wanted to talk about creepy, like, how did... How many curses and uh, evil magic and troubled spirits has this guy had to deal with? I don't know, it's kind of... I really do like this happy mask salesman. A lot more than in Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time, he's just a mask salesman. <laughs> That's it. There's like some side quest or whatever. But like, I really like the, there's a certain amount of depth to every single character in this game. It's awesome. Well, maybe not every single character, but most characters have a large depth to them when you get to see them and how they go about their three days that we all explore together. I'm sure it will be of assistance to you in the future. Ah, yes. I give you this mask in commemoration of this day. Fear not, the, for the magic has been sealed inside the mask. When you wear it, you will transform into the shape you, you just were. When you remove it, you will return to normal. So we get a couple of these transformation masks. And that's probably another reason why I like it. Freaking, um... <laughs> Shantae, uh... Wizards and Warriors 3. Uh... I guess Kirby? Uh, certain games that, like, have, like different play styles that you get to switch between not necessarily that you have like all the power to do anything all in like one particular form but like the, the, you switch and you have your ups and downs per each form i don't know i like i like having games where there's like multiple forms to play around with that's a this is another gimmick that i really really liked about this game so now we have human link and uh dq scrub link Press start, you can move it to one of your items. And this game has a lot of masks, but um, most of the masks don't act as like these transformation masks here. Uh, but a lot of these other masks play various in various, various different puzzles throughout the game. And I, I just like all the masks. The masks are a great addition to this game. <laughs> now, I've fulfilled my promise to you. So please, give me that which you promised me. <laughs> that head tilt downward, it's so good. Don't tell me. My mask. You did. Get it back, didn't you? <laughs> Just seeing this guy's eyes and angry face is so good. What have you done to me? If you leave my mask out there, something terrible will happen. Also, I like to mention that like okay so <laughs> in through the flow of time if you guys can read this on your own a cursed item this mask this majora's mask something real bad tribe ancient tribe hexing rituals shenanigans dark deep tribal magic is what is dealing with this mask oh and i can actually keep it on here forever i could no auto advancing for this text so i can read that myself but i want to mention happy mask salesman he's like yo Go get that precious iron from you and the precious iron from me, and I'll totally heal you up. And so you walk outside, you go through these three days, and you return back to the point at which you just walked outside. And you walk back in, and you're like, here, I got the thing. I got the, th the precious thing that was stolen from me. So what it looked like for Happy Mass Salesman was that you were like, yeah, I'll get our precious things. You walk outside, you walk back inside, I have my ocarina. 
<laughs> Please heal me. <laughs> it, like, there was no time. I, I just think it's funny to think about it uh, like that, but... <laughs> it, it's, it, it's pointless. I was just bringing that out because it's such a silly thing to think about. I don't know. It said that an evil and wicked power is bestowed upon the one who wears that mask. According to legend, the troubled the troubles caused by Majora's mask were so great. That's kind of a small look at like actually what the end of the game if you get wait for the thing to crush you. The ancient ones fearing such catastrophe sealed the mask in a shadow forever, preventing its misuse misuse. That's auto advancing, so I had to go fast. But now that tribe from the legend has vanished and no one really knows the true nature of the mask's power. Oof. But I feel it. I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask. When I finally had it, I could sense the doom and of a dark omen brewing. It was that unwelcome feeling that makes you your hair stand on end. And now, that imp has it. I am begging you. You must get that mask back quickly or something horrible will happen. I'm begging you, I'm begging you, you must do it. Really? You'll do it for me? I was certain you would tell me that. You'll be fine, surely you can do it. Believe in your strengths, believe. And so again, like that's also how you save the game uh, going back in time, so... Every time you start the game, you get back, sent back to this, uh... Day one, it's pretty, it's, I don't know, I like it. That mask, the skull it uses the power of that mask to do terrible things. Well, whatever it takes, we've got to do something about it. The swamp, mountains, ocean, and canyon, that tale was trying to tell you, or tell us about. I bet he was referring to the four areas just outside town. There's one in each compass direction. What do you suppose he meant by the four who are there? I have no idea. He always skips important stuff. I guess we should just go and find out. If we go through that gate straight ahead, we'll be heading into the direction of the swamp. And so that's our first area. I don't think I'm going to be doing that today, because it's already basically 8.30. But I am going to at least step outside and just take a look at Termina Field. Still trying to stop me. You can't stop me. Stop right there. Have you seen? Have you some errand in the swamp? It is dangerous outside the town walls, so I cannot allow a child like you to... A sword? My apologies, sir. It was wrong of me to treat you like a child. <laughs> Basically, to be an adult, all you have to do is carry a sword. If you are five years old and you have a sword, it was wrong of this guard to treat you like a child. That's, that's what I'm learning from this game. The southern swamp at Woodfall lies in this direction. Be careful. Oh yes, here's Cafe. Let's look at Cafe real fast. This fella. How you doing? Can't talk to him. Can't Z-target him. There's nothing you can do with this kid. He, he can't even see his face. He, he's wearing this Keaton mask from Ocarina of Time. And you're like, what? What is that, this kid? And he's always there and he has something to put in the mailbox. But he's mostly a mystery. But as I said, Anju and Cafe, you know he's going to be part of a mini quest at some point. And it's, it's, I don't know, I love this guy's quest. Do I have the song? Yes, I put slow time on. Can I, like, undo that by, uh... Can I undo it? Because he's taking such slow steps. Because, of course... Everyone has their own schedule, so if you slow down time, people move slower. <laughs> yes, make time normal. So he puts his letter in there, and then he runs away. Yeah, he does not like being followed. If you get close to him, he runs away. You know, before I turn it off, I'm actually going to get a couple things done in town, okay? Let me see. Beep, beep, boop, boop, bop, bop. 
Let's wait till nighttime because I want to get my first mask right out, right out the gate. It's very important mask, but not really important for right now. Well, it'll be important later. It's nighttime, and there that fairy is. But that fairy's not there anymore. When it was showing that it was nighttime here, it showed the fairy there. But as you see, the fairy's not here. I'll show you soon about that fairy. But this guy, he has a mask for me. La la la. They said I was much too loud when I practiced in my room. They got mad. Ah, <sighs> now I'm sad. Wait, oh. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm just like, is he singing this? Is that a rhyme because he's singing this? But no, there's nothing that rhymes after that. I'll just think about the past to keep my mind off the bad. Ah, oh, yes. I'll do that. Dear guest, long ago, I was in an animal troop with dogs and donkeys and such. Why could a... Why could a... Why could a man join? That's because a man is an animal too, my boy. They were all great. But there was one thing that I, did li I didn't like about it. Why was... Why was the... Why was the dog the leader? What is it? What is it? Because something... Wait, I can't read. Wait, blah, blah, blah. Was it because something I w was wrong with me, sir? Oh, that dog was an amazing leader. He always had a stellar troop, no matter what animals he had to work with. That's why I... That's why I... That's why I stole it. The dog's mask. I stole it. I wanted it because I was... It was the leader's mask. But I no longer need it. I give it to my guest. We got the Brahmin mask. Mask belonged to the leader of an animal troop. Try parading around with it. Parading ar it around tiny young animals. That's a clue that we're probably not going to be able to see because if you like go to the pause menu and look at that mask, it doesn't really tell you that clue that it just told me here. But, um, when you figure out where to use this mask, it's gosh dang the best thing ever. Right now, uh, if you equip it, if I press the, pressing the button, put it on, there we go. If you, uh, equip it, I can no longer attack, but if you look at that, uh, see where my sword is for attack. When you put this on, it says march. This mask is one of the best masks in the game. It's so good. It's one of my favorite. Now, you see a small animal over here, and so I thought that this mask would be useful for this funny little frog. No, you need another mask for him. Anyway, let's go... What else should I do? I'm pretty sure there's a couple things that I could do in here before... I can also get the bomb bag, right? Oh, I need to also activate this. You couldn't attack this with anything but Link's sword, so if we were to like, try to hit that with the DQ scrub spin, that wouldn't do anything. So you'll have to keep that in mind for later owl statues. Whenever you see them, uh, you need Link's sword in order to activate them. Is there anything else I can do before midnight tonight? Because midnight is when this bag gets stolen. Oh, I can do the bomber thing, can't I? That's right. That's a good thing to do. I can get the bomber journal. That's important, like none other. Oh, first time you put on a transformation mask, you get this creepy thing. Yes. <laughs> every single time. Every time. You, every single first time. Um... You can skip that. You'll get that cutscene whenever you do the transformation, but uh, you can easily skip it from here on out, which is what you'll be doing, <laughs> because you don't want to see that again. <laughs> but um, it's creepy every single time. Uh, we'll see more of that whenever I play this again. Are you the one who just popped that up there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to do this in order to get my uh, beautiful, excellent code. But more importantly, so I can get something else. No, kid! 
Come back here. Come back here. Not you. I guess you're not doing anything suspicious, so you just keep keep on keeping on. Where's this kid at? Oh, he's right there. I, I keep hearing his footsteps. I'm like, he's somewhere. I'm not even looking at you, kid. I hardly caught you. Oh, I can get the heart piece up here now. So yeah, you can skip it, which... At least taking off a mask is never a creepy thing as putting it on, but yeah. It's quite something. Oh, nice jump. Why am I the worst at catching these kids? Oh, I had to put this on. He won't he won't suspect a thing. Maybe he will. Now can I catch you? Yeah! He won't suspect a thing! Uh, slippery little devil. Come on. Where are you? Come back here, you kid. Arr! These guys <laughs> really put up a struggle, and it's the best. I like how he just kind of sat down. I think he crashed into a wall. Poor fella. Or maybe he's Mr. Lazy, the one that always sits down uh, after he does the slam dunk motion. Ka-ching. I don't have any mail to send. Okay, we just gotta wait another two hours. I can probably catch one more kid. Kid in this section, this quadrant of town. Let's go, let's go. Hurry up. You. Especially when you get to jump on them. That's like the best way to catch them. Is like wait till like they're like already like in a corner between like a torch or whatever the heck. And uh, at the second that they jump in startlement, whenever they get startled, is when you go for the kill. You go for the jugular at that moment. Yes, come on down, kid. I guess let me point out. Uh, Yes, that's where the f the fairy fragment goes here. This one lost fairy. Come on, got him! Okay, let's go back before it's midnight. Maybe I can catch the last. No, let's not. No, let's catch the last one. I'll move me back where I need to go. So I didn't know the fragment went over there. The little lost fairy. So because of that, I struggled to beat this game. <laughs> Ah, no way! You finally got me! I can't believe I got to jump on him. That kind of worked out. I don't know why he fell down. Uh, sorry. Got a little itch somewhere. Okay. You're pretty good for a Deku, Deku scrub. Maybe I was supposed to play this game as a uh, human link, but... I think now that I've done this... It's the same code. Uh, now that I've done this... I can maybe take this off and ask for... Journal? Nope, skip. I do not want to see that. Hey kid, give me a journal. That's what I want. Whoa. Hey, just for you, guy, I'm gonna make a, you a member of our gang. The Bombers! Westside represent! There's a test for becoming a bomber member. Come on, give it a try. Oh, I do have to do this again. By tomorrow morning, okay. Well, gosh dang, I'll do that soon. But right now, we have another event happening. Very soon. An event with that guy over in the corner over there. Come on. I'm scared also because like I, just, I don't really remember how much I remember of outside this area. So like I know Clocktown a little bit well, but then like when it gets to like the outside on the the field and going to the dungeons. Oh, oops! How did I get? Oh yes, activity. I don't know exactly 
how well I'm going to know everything. Everything's going to get lost. Fairy, stop messing with that thief. Let him do his business. You can't save him before the... You can't save her before the incident happens. You gotta stop it. Calm down. Got him. And there you go. Now it just causes a cutscene. Okay, cool. Thank you. Since he didn't make off with them, I can finally stock bomb bags at our shop. Maybe I'll put them out tomorrow. Yes, I must thank you. It's a dangerous mask, but maybe you could... Oh, am I getting... Oh, this is actually one of my favorites. You could use it to throw your own fire... <laughs> festival fireworks show. Okay. Yes, this mask. I forgot that she gives me this. This is an amazing mask. You got a blast mask. Wear it with the... Yeah, yeah you equip it and then you wear it. And you can have a blast with B. So instead of attacking you, just this will blow up. But you'll lose life energy in the process. Again, it's a mask that you can detonate. A mask on your face that you can detonate. It's the best mask. <laughs> well, thanks for helping me. Take care. In fact... There we go, I got the ocarina to the two best masks equipped. Yeah, it doesn't hurt that bad, but it hurts, and it acts as a bomb. If you need a bomb, and you are out of bombs, this will act as a bomb. But it has a cooldown, I can't explode again yet. And I want to show you the best thing about this mask. Whenever I figured this out, I started using it a lot more. If you put your shield out, and contain- so, like, you see the, the bomb. <laughs> Now is not going to explode out away from your face. It's all going to be reflected from the shield to blow inward extremely on your face. Yet it completely nullifies any damage. <laughs> I don't understand, and it's the best thing ever. And I don't see any, uh, anything showing up here. I wonder if there's something I have to do. But yeah, I like a, a lot of these... Uh, masks have like some benefits and some of them that don't have benefits like notable benefits are able to help you out in certain parts of the game like there's a stone mask that's pretty important uh, for one part that I just don't want to deal with and I'll probably get that stone mask just to not deal with that part maybe but um it's funny because like <laughs> oh my gosh uh sadly I don't even know if I remember how to get that stone mask but The thing about this game, uh, at one point there's like this little stealth section in the stone mask that I was talking about that, uh... Dang it, kid. I'm not even like standing up, kid. I'm sitting down with you. We're sitting down together. This is awesome. We're just hanging out. We're just bros. The stone mask, uh, when you put it on, it nullifies this like stealth section of this game because no one notices you. And that, that's kind of the thing that we'll see. The theme went over, like, we see that st uh, stone mask quest. But it's just, I don't know, it's funny. It's like, we have this whole stealth section, and you don't have to do it if you got if you got the right mask. It's awesome. Because really, uh, I tried playing Wind Waker once. I've seen the game, uh, but I've never played it myself, because I got, like, to the point where there's a stealth section, and never again. That's where I stopped playing Wind Waker. I'm not good at stealth. I forgot that they could do this! Knock knock, kid. Open up! <laughs> okay, um... And it's funny, I, I hate stealth, yet I, I did like uh, Metal Gear Solid, the first on PS1. I never owned that, but I, I emulated it back when I first got into like emulators. And I really... Now that I can stream like games like this that aren't uh, HDMI, I have like a... HDMI, uh, to... Oh, dang it! Those funny cables. I forget what they're... I always forget what they're called. The red, yellow, and, uh, white cables. For video... The yellow video, and then, like, the left and right audio cables. The uh, white and red. Those, uh... I have something that converts AV... AV to HDMI. 
And so I, I can also upscale it to 1080 p but I don't ever stream at 1080, so that's staying. Everything is staying 720, which looks fine enough, especially since, like, it, right now I'm just playing a, a N64 game. You did it. So what's your name, guy? Link, huh? All right. That school kid broke our rules, and he's been doing all kinds of bad things lately. Starting today, he's out. I'm making Link a bomber. You guys don't mind, right? Right! So they're just like, not racist, but like speciesist, I guess. Like They're like, no, we don't want a Deku. Oh, cool, a human. Yeah, absolutely. This is the bomber's notebook, important. I'm glad to have gotten this before I end my stream. It contains the words we live by. Read it over. This is like imperative to help you on your quest to finish side missions. One, find troubled people and aid them and add their names to the pictures. Only 20 people will fit in your book. Promise to help them, or two, promise to help them. Mark promises with promise stickers. Never be late with fulfilling your promises. Three, whenever you solve someone's problem, it makes you happy. So add a happy sticker. Will, or, so a happy sticker will be added to your book. Four, no removing stickers. Use promise stickers to keep track of people until everyone is happy. Don't forget the rules. So this really, so since there's so many, so many side missions and stuff like that, and again, there's like 20 side missions basically. <laughs> Not really. Okay, some of, a lot of missions will interweave with each other, and some of them will actually like play a converging role. And so because of that, like, there's not exactly 20, but there's 20 people of extreme importance that you would not not notice that are extremely important without the use of this notebook. And as you just saw there, we had, like, the do-do-do-do-do with the notebook page and stuff like that, so we get, like, little notes to help us keep track of everything. There's a lot that's happening in these three days, and so this notebook is super important to help you, like, keep track of it all. Let's look. I can pull it out. Yeah, right here. So I don't know what the happy stickers or what everything looks like, but hey, there's one person added, and there's a lot of other people to add, and yeah. It, <laughs> I like how this notebook is, uh, it's kind of like a schedule book, but it, um, Instead of showing, like, days of the month, it just says first, second, and final day. What an ominous book. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, is there anything else that can be done? Can I... I can't purchase bombs until morning. It's almost morning. I don't know what time the shops open up. Also, this dog doesn't mind me now that I'm a human, because everyone is no longer wanting to bully me. So it just barks at me, and I pick it up. You can throw it if you want to. Pam. It's awesome. Termina Field. And here's a good good spot to like uh, visit, at least before I end as well. I guess it's silent right now, but where's the music? Maybe it's since it's nighttime and it's about to transition to morning, it's not playing anything. Oh yeah, I forgot about those. Those uh, that need to answer the bugs. Sadly, it's morning. I think there was something at night that could have could have helped me with uh, the dancing girls out here somewhere. This transition to the new day is the best thing freaking ever. Dawn of the second day, 48 hours remain. Oh boy. It really is impactful, and it's like, if you were to ever say Dawn of the final day, and like, people immediately think back to this game, because that is, of course, <laughs> really impactful to everybody that's played this, and so, of course, like, everyone can recognize that straight out the gate. They're like, yo, you mean Majora's Mask? Even if they haven't played it, they probably know, like, Dawn of the final day. That's, that's, that's Legend of Zelda, right? And also, this game has very similar to, like, the first few games of Zelda, with the overworld theme being, uh, very traditionally, that theme we all know and love. Like, the Hyrule field of Ocarina of Time was good, too. I 
don't think I can do anything with these right now. But, um, I don't know. I really like this original theme. And I didn't realize I really liked it until I played this game. I'm like, oh, nice. We're returning to this music. <laughs> you know? Like, I love the Hyrule field, but, um, I don't know. It's just, oh, yes. We're in day two, so we get the good music here. It's just funny. I don't know. I don't know how, what I'm talking about ever, you know? I just don't know what I'm talking about. How much does it cost for a bomb bag? I would like to have that at least. Welcome. My, that mask. 30 bombs. It costs 90 rupees. So let's get 90 rupees then. And bomb shoes. Oh, oh, let's go look at bomb shoes. Okay. <laughs> That's something that I don't think Ocarina of Time had at all, but this game has. So let's go, I guess this is near the water area. That's another thing I like about this. Um, it's got everything kind of like really laid out, straightforward manner. This whole area is a circle. As you can look at that mini map, you see it's a circle. There's an area to the west, an area to the east, an area up north, and an area down south. There's a canyon, a jungle, a water place, and a ice place, I guess. So you just get like these very uh, wild areas over in like the four corners of the world. That's it. Okay, I see. I see where I'm headed. This is good. I'm over to go check out the bomb shoes. This game has freaking bomb shoes. Let's put on my mask and get ready to fight explosions with explosions. Can I... That's a real bomb shoe! <laughs> a real bomb shoe. Is that what they're, like, literally... Is that what their name is? They're called real bomb shoes and bomb shoes... Uh, the item that you get are just standard bomb shoes without the word real? Like, is this, is like, it's a scientific name, real bomb shoe? It runs at you with its pack of explosives, so protect yourself or, or else. Yeah, shield will just deflect them, that's right. Can I fight them with bombs, though? <laughs> yeah, they just explode. I think you can climb one of these or something. Oh yeah, perfect. I don't know why you'd want to climb these, but... Oh, for secret money. Excellent! Good thing I came up here, because I needed secret money, because I'm trying to buy a, a bomb bag. Yeah, I guess that one... I could climb, because it had a rugged edge. Like, I don't think I'll be able to climb right here. No. I can climb up this one, alright. Oh, forgot about this. What's this mime playing on? A GameCube, actually. I'm playing. Oh, oops, I bonked myself backwards into the. No way out all the way! I'm playing the collection that came out for GameCube uh, that has Zelda 1, Zelda 2, um, a demo for The Wind Waker, Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask. I didn't get you. Well, I can't get you until this respawns. Got a new new item. I'm gonna lose it as soon as I do the song of time and end the stream. But hey, at least I got something. Five monies. Yeah, I just need 90 monies and then I'll be probably good. I don't know what else I want to. Oh, I'm gonna probably wait for nighttime and try to get that one other mask to help the dancing girls, maybe? Okay, Mask, come back so I can explode. Ready when you are, Mask. Ready when you are. Yeah? Hello? There it is. No money at all. Great. Perfect. Excellent. I didn't want money. You're correct. You're correct, game. I didn't want any of that money, actually. Oh, no! I can maybe fight the Dodongos. I think the Dodongos get good cash. Hello, bird. 
Sorry, bird. <laughs> oh, man, if this came out on Switch, that'd be freaking the bomb. I mean... Imagine if the Switch... Oops, ow, 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 ow. Had, like, Nintendo 64 remake games. Or not, like, remakes, but ports from, like, N64. I would love that. I don't know why I'm fighting this guy with bombs, uh, but not real bombs. Like, fighting this guy with uh, real bombs would be the way to fight this guy, but I'm blowing him up from behind. Get out of there. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's take this off and fight him like a real man. Hello? Okay. I need to be very careful. Please do not die. I know that this guy could give us pretty good money if I'm able to kill him. Sometimes, at least. Please explode. Okay. How much hits do they have? See if I can do something here. No? It looks like there's a puzzle here, but I don't remember how to activate it. Yeah, N64 Classic Mini would be cool too, but man, especially if it was like on Switch. Like, uh. I know. Oh, is that it? I know we were already. We're, oh, he explodes. Oh, oh. Yeah, see, 50 money! 50! Fight these guys if you need money. Um, I definitely already feel lucky enough that we get like a decent selection of uh, Super Nintendo games and uh, Nintendo Super regular Nintendo Entertainment System games on the Switch. But I don't know. Even if they did something like the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation 4, where they had classic games and you had to like purchase, like, hey, I can purchase uh, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask for like $10 or something. Like, I love that. They should just find a way to port a bunch of games like that. I That's one thing I really did like about the PS3 was that I was able to play a lot of my PlayStation 1 games, or my PlayStation 1 games that I never had, like Symphony of the Night. I would have never played that had I never decided to, you know, look into it because of the PlayStation 3. And yeah, I had to pay 10 bucks for that freaking game, but I got my 10 bucks worth out of it. Like, 10 bucks is definitely worth your while for Ocarina or not Symphony of the Night <laughs> Ocarina of Time wait no I'm not trying to talk to you I, I would like to deposit later sorry Wii U was like that oh. I missed the Wii U I, I never got it I missed out on that and I really wanted it too and I still kind of do want it because it because you can play Wii games on there and I never had a oh hey there's a Goron here I never had a Wii mm -hmm. so like I'm like Man, a Wii U could be extremely beneficial to me because it will allow me to get Wii U games and Wii games. And there are some Wii U games that haven't been ported over to the Switch yet. A lot of Wii U, Wii U games have come. I think they, they're they talking about bringing over 3D World, which is one of the games I would really like to play. So, like, I have no need to worry about that or Tropical Freeze. But I feel like there's some other games, like, on the Wii U that I really wanted to play. Like, Wonderful 101, I think, was one of them. Uh, I, don't, I, I can't remember which ones they are. Huge bomb. Oh yeah, I forgot about the huge bombs. Yeah, everyone missed out on the Wii U. I'm kind of sad that it failed. I, I I like the concept of it. I don't know. I mean, I prefer the the Switch. The Switch has been treating me very nicely, but like the Wii U, I don't want to bash it. I, li I like I like it, even though I've never owned it and played it. Well, I think I might have played it once, maybe at a friend's house. I know a friend of mine had it. Probably doesn't have it anymore, because <laughs> it flopped and everyone hated it, and I'm like, come on, it's not that bad. So I have a bomb bag. Wait a second, let's uh, oops, put on the wrong mask. Uh, I, 
I can freaking hold bombs now, which I'm going to lose all 30 of those bombs. You get 30 complimentary bombs for purchasing that bomb bag. And um, whenever I start over this game, whenever I do the saving and switch over to the first day, they're all going to be gone. But maybe I can... Okay. I'm going to deposit... Nine. I'm going to get a couple... 50. Get the kill, maybe... Now that I have bombs, I can kill the Dodongos faster, right? I, I forget how to fight them, though, because... I, I just remember, like, Fierce Deity, like, you could just slash through them, and they... Well, I mean, I don't think you could Fierce Deity outside on tournament field, so... I had, like, the Gilded Sword, or, like, the Great Fairy Sword, so, like, I was able to, like, kill them easily without having to, like, worry about fighting them the intended way. I think this is the wrong area to leave. Yeah, this leads to Snow Hill. Oops. Switch has a good amount of Wii U games, and I'm happy for that. I'm very happy, because <laughs> I would hate if I, like... Which, I mean, I don't have <laughs> uh, Tropical Freeze, but if I had missed out on Tropical Freeze, which I still am missing out, I would be extremely sad. Wait. I need your health. <laughs> I would be extremely sad that I wouldn't be able to play it just because I didn't have a Wii U. I want to play that game real bad. I'm a huge fan of platformers, especially if they are labeled as very difficult. Oh wait, honey. And bombs. Yeah, I'm actually making some decent money, even though I'm not fighting a Dizango. Oh, it's almost night time too. Excellent. Maybe I shouldn't be trying to get as much of this, like, side stuff done right now, because it's like, this is a good filler thing, so that... That's another thing that I really like about this, because, like, it has filler... Um... Going on with, like, a very time-heavy based game, like... You can easily get lost in, like, okay, now I need to wait for this specific time of the... Of the game, so I have to wait and twiddle my thumbs? No, this game gives you enough filler that's actually really fun. To keep you occupied. Very, very effectively. I wish I had Goron form so I can roll around at the speed of sound. Actually, I think that this mask helps me get a, a, another fast method of travel, eventually. Still, yeah, still no luck on that switch. As as per usual, good luck on getting into that mag. It's 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 good. It's good. And if this game was on there, then I would definitely be like, yo, yo, guys, <laughs> Switch is pretty dang fantastic. We can play 64 games on there. Nintendo 64, not 64, but oh, these things at night. I forgot about you guys. Oh, hey, can I at least uh, do this puzzle? What is your issue? Got him. Three weeks and still so though. Yeah, that's crazy. Can I not, like... L target or, like, where do I have to... There's no... Signifier. Do I just have to play the song there? And that's it? No. Yeah. Okay. That's just... And I, usually, I thought this game would always be like, yo, if you pull out your ocarina in front of something that, you know, the ocarina is necessary for, it'll give you like a little jingle saying, hey, you're on the right track. I saw on one of these, like, mushroom-shaped things, there was a guy... Oh, there's something over there, too. The guy that gives you the mask that I'm looking for. So what's over here? Is it something that I can put a bomb down for? That's not the puzzle. Maybe it's right here. Maybe I need to come back here, but it needs to be further later at night. 
I don't know. Because I don't see any other spot I can jump onto one of those, like, funny little things. Do you like all Zelda games? Uh... I think so. I forget. I need to play more of Wind Waker. I never really played uh, anything beyond uh, the stealth section in that game. And the combat kind of felt like... It felt really fluid and it looked really fun. But I don't know if I really dug it as much as I like combat and maybe like this game. But maybe if I give it more time, I would like it. Other than that, I don't think I've ever met a Zelda game I don't like. Ooh, oh. What else? I played Zelda 1 a, a lot as, as a kid, so Zelda 1 means a lot to me. I played a little bit of Zelda A Link to the Past as a kid, and I don't know where that cartridge went, so whenever I got a chance to emulate, I was really happy to play that, and then eventually I think I even got it for myself. I don't remember where that second cartridge I got now. I have no idea where that one's at. Freaking, I'm great at losing games. I wish... Uh, I don't know. I wish that, like, similar to, like, CDs, that uh, cartridges for, like... I guess that you could purchase, like, certain sleeves, but, like, I wish there was a way to, like, put cartridges in, like, a container, a holder, like, PS1 and PS2 games, and games ever since have always had, like, a case that you keep them in. And that was the bomb. See, like... It's almost nighttime. It kind of is nighttime. I'm gonna go outside and search again, but I'm pretty sure maybe it's, like, at midnight. This is the wrong side. Let's go this way. Oh yeah, for a short amount of time. I think you probably showed up because uh, it was a Ragley stream and we were doing some of the NES stuff on uh, on the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> I intend to actually stream it some more than just that. I might not beat it on my LOL's Classics, but I've been playing... I need to return to it, but like I want to play a bunch of the games that meant a whole lot to me in my childhood from the NES. Oh, I like how you hurt me, and then you gave a bunch of hearts. And so I've already gone through a decent number of games, but I'm definitely going to touch on Zelda the first again at some point, and then I will definitely make sure to beat it. Maybe not during the stream that I play all those NES games, but I will definitely at some point later in the future beat that game, because that means a lot to me. And I don't think I've ever beaten the second quest. I've always started the second quest, but I've never beaten it. Hello, Mr. Dancing Man. Is this... Oh, there he is! Okay, good, 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 good. I knew he was out here at night. I just probably had to come sometime beyond midnight, I swear. Hello, Dancing Man. Yeah, it had to overpower its save or something. Oh, yeah, you can save at any point. <laughs> you can basically do save states on the NES games for the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Which, I mean, I never like to rely on those, but those are nice. To... I think, well, maybe it's just whenever you die, but I think in, like, original Zelda, like, if you were to, like, save and quit, and you come back with, like, three hearts, no matter how many hearts you have. So I, I don't exactly remember that's accurate or not. But that's a good point where you can put like a save state to just return back into the action where you left off whenever you're done with a session. But I'd rather not do that in order to like get over, save scum past hard obstacles or something. I'm no longer part of the living, my sadness to the moon. I haven't left my dance to the world. I am filled with regret. Oh yeah, I forgot this guy is <laughs> kind of creepy on his own right. Translation, I'm disappointed, O Moon. I have died. Yeah, he's so he's dead. Oh, I plan to bring the world together and stir it into a giant melting pot with my dance. <laughs> if only I had taught my new dance to someone. The spear dancer, Kamaro, was added to your notebook. See, th that... Okay, let's listen again. Listen closely whenever I pull out the ocarina. That right there. Um, probably have to do the Song of Healing, because I need to get his mask. And he doesn't seem like he's giving it up, which usually means that you need the Song of Healing. Which, I mean, 
you normally wouldn't know that you need his mask, but since I do know that, but Saga of Healing is how you help someone with a terrible fight and give and get their mask from their dead corpse. <laughs> so, left, right, down, left, right, down. I guess that's the right answer. Something's happening. Spread my dance across the world. Train its followers. Uh. I've taught it to you. Now make it into a popular dance craze. Yeah, we're gonna hate this mask. Because instead of just wearing a mask of his face, you wear his torso as the mask, and his head protrudes from the head region. Uh, uh, I'll put it on so you can see what I'm talking about. This is another one of those I'm counting on you. AKA, I'm counting on you. Oh, uh, this is another one of those masks that give you a funky active thing to do. Whenever you put this on, instead of being able to swing my sword, I can now dance. But look at how weird this mask is! <laughs> it just protrudes from your face, like, his head shoots off. Like, why didn't they just make a mask of his face? They do that of other characters, but not him. <laughs> it's weird. And I appreciate it. <laughs> I really do, actually. But yeah, it allows you to dance. We'll do more dancing soon, actually. Because it is still nighttime, I think. It is. It is. Which means... Is this the right side? I, I have yet to learn my orientation in the card cardinal directions of this game, but I will at some point. But hurry up. I need to quickly talk to some ladies. Oh, yeah, Mr. M Mail Delivery Guy. I forgot about you. Never checked your area out. I'll check that some other day. Hey, ladies. This was a fun little uh, puzzle, just because you see them dancing and you hear this music. But, like, I never really realized that they were, like, I don't know how to dance. They're very... Huh. And then they do that, and they're like, huh. And they're trying to, like, figure out, like, a dance routine, but they're, like, really uncertain about it. They need some teaching. They need some mentoring. I... There we go. That's it. So we can make that new dance, a new wonderful dance craze for the world through mentoring these two girls. They, they know what's up. They're confident in their skills and they learn this dance like immediately. They're very good. They're pretty skilled. And they wear shirts that like remind me of like designs on like China uh, plates or something like a really fancy porcelain or like a tea kettle thingy thank you for teaching us those steps <laughs> you are our master okay oh hey I also got my new heart because that gives me a piece of heart hell yeah Rosa sisters twin dancers were added to my notebook I stole the hearts of the dancers this was actually their hearts and Cool, cool. They're happy. Master, you're so cool! So that's the main puzzle to deal with this thing, but it is a cool mask just to have because now you can dance anywhere you want to. <laughs> no. Also, this looks so gross when you're trying to play a song wearing this mask. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I love it. It's the worst. Um... I can remember notes. Again, it's weird because I'm using X, X, A, A, Z, Z instead of right, right, A, A, uh... Down, down? I forget. What, yeah, down, down. Dawn of the final day. I, I want to have it morning just so I can get money from the... What's it called? Dodongos. The reason why I want money from the Dodongos is because I want to see if I can donate... Um... What is this? 200 rupees into my bank and get a 
a the ability to hold more money. And then I'll call it for tonight's stream. Oh no, I need to take this mask off. Where you're able to like bombs were you're, if you're able to throw them into its mouth, maybe that was just the thing uh, for the Dodongo boss in Ocarina of Time. Is there no easy way to fight these guys? Now I know. Oh, look a tiny one. Hello, Mister. Do you give me less money because you're tiny? That's how you fight these guys. Okay, figured it out. Yeah, you give me 20. Well, that's, that's pretty good. What's down here? I just need, like, another 12 more. Oh, more! you. That's basically all I need, because now I have max money. Oh, too freaking bad. I was being too gutsy. What happens when you die in this game? I forget. When was the last time I died in this game? Yeah, I knew it was pretty lenient. I'm like, I'm not going to lose anything. I really didn't lose a gosh dang anything. <laughs> I didn't lose a gosh dang anything. I still have, like, all my money. I have, like, my mask, my same amount of bombs. Nope, do the spin. Uh, spin slash is hard for me to pull off. Oh, no! Ah, I swear, I can totally... I've probably done this a whole lot as a kid. No, please. Oh, and I can get more money from that wall now. Don't get burned. Throw a bomb. Uh, throw the bomb, please. And then finally, give me my cash rewards. Yeah, they always drop. Like, they never don't drop 50. It's such a good thing. A, left, right, left, right. A, up. Left, right, left, right. Oh, yeah, that song. That was an Ocarina of Time song, I think. Okay. Let's deposit this. That puts me almost to 200. That puts me at, like... I think I'm at 79 right now. So I need two more to bring me up to like 170. So I need 32. Almost there. I was like wanting to end a while ago, but there's always so much stuff to do in this game, I swear. Also, it's a Zelda game, and I like how it just has to beep at you because you're nearly dead. But at least it's not like Zelda 1, uh, where it cut out, like, parts of the music because there's only a very limited amount of sound channels, so the music just sucked if you had the hearts beeping, and, uh, I think, like, if you were, like, or maybe I'm thinking about Star Tropics, where if you were, like, attack, it would refresh the time at which it heart, the uh, beeps at you, so, like, the faster you slash, the faster the beeping is, basically. I think that might just be Star Tropics. Yeah, take a look at me. Oh yes, you remember me, even though you've never seen me before in this timeline. Oh, I was wondering. Okay. 
down and down for 99. Hurry up, just need a little bit more cash money. 32 monies, that's all I ask, which I'll probably just get. I mean, I'll just get 50 money and that'll be it. If I got extra money, I'm gonna buy those old system, these old systems, absolutely. Oh, hey. I can blow these up. That might be cool. Sorry, my watch was just going off. I don't know if you heard that. <laughs> I have an alarm on my watch that goes off every time I want, I want to wake up at about this time, but my sleep schedule has been messed up. Not very good uh, amount of money, but it's still money. Went to the store. But you'll never get stuff like this again. Uh, it's... Uh, I know. I miss... I miss these good old days for these games. I would like to die again, Mr. Dodongo, if you could. If you could kill me, just so I don't have to hear the beep beep. I like how there's like a split second of scream from Mr. Link over there. But anyway, glad that you have killed me because now my beeping is gone. It starts you with three hearts. Very Zelda one of you. Awesome. That should be enough to kill you, though. Nope! Oh. Come on. That's it. Freaking hyper genius over here. I got hurt. Yeah. But I still managed to do this super good. Down A, down A. Right down, right down. Uh... Okay, I think it just has a bunch of songs from Ocarina of Time. I'm pretty sure that was another Ocarina of Time song. I really don't remember like anything of that game, but as soon as I hear the songs, at least I'm like, hey, I know that. Man, if I had extra money, I'd also probably want to get a Nintendo 64. And I always wanted a Wii as well, but maybe I could just one day win the lottery and get myself a Wii U for however money those are selling for. On a used game store, they probably sell for alright. But, uh... I don't, I don't think a lot of people want that game, <laughs> that game system anymore. So I don't think I, I think already a lot of people sold them or did whatever with them. They're just probably not around. They just died. That system died so fast. Ah, it's such a sad thing, and it really is tragic when you think about it. It's like, man. There we go. I got 240 rupees now. What's this? You've already saved up 200 rupees. Well, little guy, here's a little special gift. Adult wallet. I'm an adult now. Baby, I have a sword, which makes me not a kid, and I have a big wallet, which makes me an adult. I can carry up to 200 rupees. Awesome. Still have your Wii. I just never use it. Aw. Oh! The rumblies that shake this whole world. Kinda awesome because these little bobbleheads is going off a little bit. See, the bobblehead stops. Okay, wait for the next bit of rumbles and just watch that bobblehead cow for a little bit. It's never something I really... My brain never really called attention to, but that's awesome. I love it. <laughs> I guess that's the reason why there's a bunch of these cows everywhere, including this cow being used as a candle. What games did you have for your Wii U, uh, Jedi Outcast Eve? Did you have any good... I mean... I don't, I don't remember, like, Wii U games anymore. It's so sad. I, I, hey, guy, why did you do that for? Don't push me. Look at that bobblehead go! There it is! Thanks, thanks, Moon. Okay, so let's... Let's be done now.
because I don't know what else I'd really want to do. Right off the back of my hand, there's some side quests I can touch a little bit of base on, but like I won't be able to like finish, so I don't really want to do too much. There's probably a couple more masks I can get around here, but I'm pretty good. I'm pretty solid, I think. I will continue this some other day. Maybe we'll get like a dungeon done per stream. I don't know. That might be wishful thinking, because... <laughs> Holy moly, some of these dungeons are probably going to kick my butt when I realize I don't remember gosh dang anything about them. But yeah, I mean, I got four masks already. I mean, one of them I have to have at this point, but... I at least remember these masks. Those are fantastic masks. Also, I, next time I can try some of the minigames out. Well, I don't have a bow yet, so I can't do all the minigames, I don't think. I think one of them needs... One of them might need bombs, though. Once again, I had like 14 bombs or something, and they're all gone. All my sticks are gone. Dooku nuts are out of here. I just have two songs. And this is all we've seen on the map. Uh, well, not all we've seen on the map, but these are the maps that I purchased from Tingle. So I know Clock Town, and then down below... Well, I guess, maybe... Down below is uh, the swamp, so that's where we're going to be going next time. Bayonetta 1 and 2, Fatal Frame, Mario 3D, real nice. Revelations, okay. I didn't know Fatal Frame was on the Wii U. I remember Bayonetta 1 and 2 coming out, and I know that game's also on the Switch, and I kind of almost want to play this one day, but I, I think that's going to be one of those games that are like always going to be in the back of my mind where I'm never actually going to actually purchase the game, because it's like I want to play it, but I... I don't know, it just like, it kind of gets pushed behind like a bunch of other things that I've been wanting to play for even longer. I don't know. Uh, Resident Evil Revelations, I do want to play both of Revelations and Revelations 2. I might have to get that on like PS4 or something. <laughs> because, I don't know. I think I have like Revelations, at least a couple episodes of one of the Revelations game on Steam. I don't know if I'd want to play it on Steam. I'd rather, if I'm going to stream it, I'd like to have it on a, a console. That way I don't have to like worry about the processing power going towards the playing of the game and towards the streaming of the game. I don't want to put too much strain on my computer. And then 3D World, I really hope that what I heard was true and that it does come to the Switch because I really do want to play that game. I really, really want to play that one. And then Fatal Frame, man, I, I don't know very much about that game <laughs> at all, but... It intrigues me. Every time I see, like, any screenshots or uh, a small footage of it, I'm like, ooh, what the heck? It's a zombie game, but a camera... Or is it, like, a zombie game? Or, like, is it... It's, like, a spooky atmosphere, at least. And, like, scary, spooky picture-taking. <laughs> but, like, I don't know exactly what goes on. I don't know anything about that game. It's... <laughs> I want to see what the heck this camera has to do with any freaking spooky zombies and ghosts and what is this? What is all? What does that all mean? <laughs> it has me confused. Um, let me, since I've already saved, let me just show you guys again. Uh, just to show you that yeah, I'm playing the GameCube little collection that has all these games. Here's Ocarina of Time, Adventures of Link, Zelda. And this thing that it always wants to start out on. I don't know why every time I turn this game on, it's like, you want this 20-minute playable demo, don't... Let's, let's jump in really fast, actually. Small amount of time. I just want to see what the sword feels like. Hurry up. Come on. My stream is finished. You just need to hurry up, game. Dungeon. Stealth. Ugh! They have stealth as a freaking... Part of the demo? Awful. Dungeon, probably. Because I probably have a sword in this bit. It feels pretty alright, but as soon as I fight something, it's gonna be like, oof. It's like very flowy and weird. It looks like this is a puzzle that's already been solved. <laughs> is it? Yeah, I think. Oh yeah, you can. That's right. You need to do this for getting across certain bits, or uh, especially during stealth section. But like sometimes there's like you gotta sidle across certain uh, bits of wall because the 
there's not enough floor to just regular stand on. Okay, battle. How does battle work? Like, it just feels like Zelda attacks, but sometimes, like, when you Z target, that's it. And, like, you can, like, slide around and do crazy things with your attacks. I don't remember exactly how it goes, but, like, the way you, like, flow around in battle is, like, something I wasn't exactly used to. Oh, no, give me the thing. Why are you getting caught up in geometry? Why are you doing this? Oh, there's, like, water? <laughs> I don't... I... Really forgot a lot about this game. I, I really want to actually play it one day. But, I gosh dang... <laughs> Splash. I don't know. If, I, I bet this game probably costs a decent amount of money if I were to look on it. Like, eBay or Amazon to get uh, this game for GameCube. But I know this came to the the Switch, didn't it? Like a whole deluxe. I know. I think it came to the Wii U and then the Switch eventually as well. That's one of the reasons why I wanted the Wii U when it back when the Wii U came out. I'm like, dude, give me give me this. Yeah. Why did I switch games? Uh, I was about to turn off, but then I. I had talked a little bit about this, so I just wanted to try the demo, just because I'm like, what? how did the battle work again? I just wanted to feel this game again. It feels kind of funky. It's I guess it's not stiff anymore. That's just the big issue. I don't know. I, I guess it's not like an issue. It's just different. And that's not a problem, because I did enjoy my time with this game up until we got to... Let's see. Uh, until we got to the point where there is stealth. Still playing, yeah. Hardly. I'm I'm getting off. I just I'm very distractible. I'm ADD about lots of things. And let me see what the stealth looks like. I know you had to like hide in barrels and uh oh, dude. There's like stealth and like uh Majora's mask that I can't use the stone mask to get past. I'm just realizing there's another stealth section that I'm thinking about. So I'm gonna have to do stealth in that game too. Dang it. But there's a second stealth section that I'm just probably going to skip. All the way up there. This stone in my pocket, thank you. We don't know who's talking to us because, I mean, this is just... I like how this demo starts me with four rupees? What a weird number to start me with. such a weird thing, but it gives you 20 minutes of stealth action if you want. I, I don't know. I don't want stealth action, but yeah, the, here's these. You can hide. Of course, if you're moving things, uh, the fellas will still know you're there, but it allows you to hide from, like, spotlights. Hey, hey. Well, let's see if I move. Yeah, they catch you. They catch you. And I don't really like that. I, I mean, I don't dislike it, but, uh... <laughs> then you get thrown in jail. I, I just, I don't know. I've never been a fan of stealth, so I don't want to be playing all stressed out in that type of sense at all. Like, there's other senses that I'm like, okay, you can stress me out in this way or that way, but not, not like this. I don't know. Oh, yeah, there's this crazy. I like it. I want to play Metroid Prime again. I've never played Metroid Prime. Actually, I can't say that. I have played one Metroid Prime game, but you will be very disappointed if I tell you which one it is. When they make games super realistic, they just delete a lot of this realness. But Metal Gear Solid Stealth is sometimes fun, especially since it's, like, optional. <laughs> I could just kill people and be like, yeah, get, get dead. There's a certain DS game called Metroid Prime Hunters. <laughs> That's my only Metroid Prime game I've ever played. I can't leave this through the front door. But, um, I, I have Metal Gear Solid, uh, 2 and 3 in my drawers right here. I have a lot of PlayStation 2 games that I've actually never played. <laughs> uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance. Cool. I didn't know it was a Substance version. And Metal Gear Solid 3, both of which I want to stream one day. 
Um, I think I'd actually enjoy these games. It's not the Substance version of 3, sadly, sadly. Uh -oh. um, really intend to play those uh, because I really enjoyed my time with uh, Metal Gear Solid 1, even though I never beat it. I've seen it played like several times, and I like it. I don't remember anything about Metal Gear Solid 1, but it was pretty cool. One of the games I make planning. Oh, I have freaking San Andreas, baby. You betcha I'm going to stream that one day. Um, other games for PS2, I have... Shout out the Hedgehog. I think that that's not a very good game from what I've heard, and I can't wait to play it so I can uh, laugh at it. I got it for very cheap at a used game store. Black. Black is also another very good game, uh, I think. It was my first first-person shooter that like kind of got me into first-person shooters. Um, what other games do I have here? Oh, yeah, of course, Final Fantasy X. And a game called Shifters, which is really janky mess. Again, I like playing janky messes, so I can't wait to play that one. But, dude, uh, I have some plans to play some PS2 games, and, like, half of them are Metal Gear Solid games. Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3. And I know Metal Gear Solid 3 is, like, Harkin does an amazing, incredible game. And I've had this game for a long time. And I need to play it. But then I also got Metal Gear Solid 2, and now I'm in serious trouble. Oh yeah, crouching. You know, maybe the stealth in this game might not be that bad. I Maybe not, since I'm no longer a child, I can enjoy this. I need to play this game at some point. <laughs> you can freaking slide. <laughs> this game is dumb. This game is very dumb. San Andreas, good times. Absolutely. I loved my time with that. Uh, I never played Vice City, but I played the heck out of San, uh, San Andreas and uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 a lot. Am I getting on again? I wish I knew. <laughs> That's the problem. I, I have very little time. I mean, I do have time. I won't, I either can spend it sleeping or playing a video game for the internet. <laughs> Is this Windmaker now? Yeah, uh, I, I just kind of jumped on to get caught by guards and cry about my life because I hate stealth. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just thinking about that since uh, I was playing. Oh, hey, hey. Why, why am I doing this? Sorry, let's turn off my PS... Or not PS, this is... Sorry for the blue screen. That's how we end it off, with the Nintendo GameCube squeaking at us to death, because I have to go. It's 9.37, and I don't want to play Wind Waker anymore. I do want to play more Majora's Mask, but, uh... We'll have to come to that another time. Maybe I'll put this on YouTube. I was thinking maybe not, because, like, I... I mean, this is really dense brain fog right now, and, like, as soon as I opened my mouth to talk about anything about this game, I knew I was in trouble. I'm like, I don't know what I'm talking about. What's happening? Am I... Am I... Dying? <laughs> uh, but, it, yeah. At least I, I'm more awake now, and I'm got at least a little bit more clear thoughts spoken out. But it's just such a, like, non-LP fashion that I was just, like, nonchalantly playing through this game. I kind of feel bad about that. I want to present it in a way that makes it kind of a little bit more watchful than me just slapping through it and rem reminiscing on memories, but I don't know. I'll put this on YouTube, maybe. I'll put it on YouTube. Anyway, uh, yeah, you guys have a good one. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I'm surprised that people came at, like, really... I guess it's early now. Which is weird, I didn't know people would be around if I just stream early. I usually stream really, really late. <laughs> Which is, not, this is weird. I, I This is like mostly when I have time to do something at around maybe like 5 to 8.30. So this is kind of, I guess, probably going to be my new stream schedule. If you're going to see me on, it's going to probably be at like 4 or 5 till 8.30, 9.30. And who knows when I'll next stream, but when I next stream, uh, <laughs> who knows what I'll play. I'm, a, I'm an enigma, I'm a mystery. See you guys, and have a good one. Party in your dreams whenever you next have your dreams. See y'all. <laughs>